One, two, one, two. Test one, two, one, two. How's your headphone volume? Bueno.
and its suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. Now, let's send it to the broadcast booth with the voice of the River Dragons, Tom Callahan. Hello, everyone, and welcome, and it's time once again for Columbus River Dragons Hockey. I'm Tom Callahan. Thanks for joining me here as we're looking forward to the third in three Motor City Rockers, Columbus River Dragons, the final appearance of the Rockers here at the Columbus Civic Center. And judging by the way Friday and Saturday night went, I think you can expect the fireworks to continue in this season series. Columbus has won both games so far. They won on Friday night and last night. Tell you what, it uh, it's elevated. Friday was a little physical. Started to kind of get the animosity to flare back up Saturday. We saw even more of that in last night's contest, especially towards the end. A couple of players were excused at the end of that contest. And today, well, I believe it's going to be a factor. The physical play will be there. And, of course, when you play any team three times in a row, especially three days in a row, uh, there's going to be some holdover from those first two games. There's going to be some animosity. And in the case of Columbus beating Motor City twice in the last two games, Motor City is a team that is still very much in a fight for playoff position in its own right. And as we take a look at the records and the standings coming into this game, we see that Columbus, with 46 games played, is at 35, 4, 3, 3, and 1. That's 116 points. They have already sewn up the Continental, or pardon me, they've sewn up a playoff spot. They are close to sewing up the Continental Division. Don't want to put the cart before the horse on that one. And Motor City at 23, 18, 4, 4, and 2, 85 points. They are in a fight with Danbury for second place in the Empire Division. Danbury right behind them with 83 points. Both of those teams, Motor City and Danbury, have played 51 games on the season, so just five left for Motor City. Two of those five come against the River Dragons. Of course, this afternoon's game here is we're going to drop the puck just past the top of the hour. And then next weekend, when Columbus will head to Michigan for a three-game road trip, two of those in Port Huron against the Prowlers, and the middle game, the sandwich game, will be against the Motor City Rockers on Friday night. Now, initially, by the way, I do want to mention this, when the schedule was released, the River Dragons were playing Easter Sunday in Port Huron. That is no longer the case. It is now Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There is no game on Easter Sunday, so maybe you have an older copy of the schedule or that might have stuck in your head for some reason. There is no game on Easter Sunday. It will be Thursday, Friday, Saturday this upcoming week. For the River Dragons, so I want to go back to talking about the uh, potential to sew up the Continental Division and then, of course, the FPHL title as well. Now, the Carolina Thunderbirds have played three more games than the River Dragons. They did win yesterday, 4-2 over Baton Rouge, but at this point, with seven games left, and, of course, it's three points for regulation win. So with seven games left for Carolina, you multiply that by three, you come up with 21. They have 103 points plus 21 is 124. That means for the River Dragons to avoid all tie breaks with Carolina, there's an eight-point gap between the two of them. So you want nine points. That way you don't run the risk of tying Carolina and you don't have to go to tie breaks. That is three regulation wins for this River Dragons hockey team to lock up the Continental Division. Looking at Binghamton, who lost last night at Watertown, and that is the other game in the FPHL today. Binghamton's at Watertown, but that's not until 7 o'clock here this evening. But Binghamton now, 47 games played. And they have nine left to go. And at that point, nine times three. Everybody following along here, 27. 27 plus their 104 points is 131. That's 15 points away from where the River Dragons are. So Columbus, five three-point wins. That would potentially tie them if Binghamton were to win out the rest of the way. So if you get just that one more point, it locks it out without having to go to a tie break. And the interesting thing is Binghamton and Columbus do not play in the regular season. So there is no regular season head-to-head -head tie break anywhere. You have to go into the stats, which do favor Columbus. Better win percentage, more regulation wins, better goal differential. Uh, I believe that if it did come down to that, the only potential area that Binghamton could top Columbus might be goals for. 
Columbus comes in with 245 goals for Binghamton, 241 goals for, but in just about every other aspect, uh, the River Dragons would have the edge on the Binghamton Black Bears in a straight up head-to-head -head statistical comparison. Now, again, keep in mind, that means Binghamton's got to go perfect from here on out, and Columbus would have to not pick up another point here. Uh, and, you know, it just, it, it doesn't often work that way. I mean, certainly stranger things have happened in the world of sports, but uh, it, Columbus is on a pretty good tear. They commit on a Tim Hortons win streak of five games, or eight one and one in the last 10, so the River Dragons Playing some pretty darn good hockey right now, and they look to continue that here this afternoon against the Motor City Rockers. We're going to take a break in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit about the lineups, a couple of uh, additions and deletions for the River Dragons here. We'll tell you what's going on with that. Plus, we have our Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard to get to a little bit later on, and our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Boom Boom Bichard. All that's coming your way in just a little bit. Stay tuned. There is plenty more to talk about. 405 Puck Drop, Rockers and the River Dragons here at the Columbus Civic Center. Come on down and join us if you're in the local listening area. We look forward to having you down for some Sunday matinee hockey action. This is River Dragons Hockey. It's hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Back in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining us as we're wrapping up our pregame warm-ups here between the River Dragons and the Motor City Rockers. Final time we're going to see this Motor City team in town, at least in the regular season. And, of course, with the early season division switch, Motor City essentially traded, if you will, for the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Now the Motor City's in the Empire. The only way these two teams can meet in the postseason is if they happen to meet in the Commissioner's Cup Final. So Columbus with one more game up in Frazier, Michigan, coming next week on Easter weekend. That'll be the last time these teams are likely to see one another. But Motor City is a team that, uh, and they've shown it, even though they've lost both Friday and Saturday night, they do not quit. And uh, pardon the pun, but they keep the motor running, if you will. And they, they just absolutely continue to press. This is not a team that quits. This is not a team that, uh, you know, hangs its head when things aren't going their way. They push right back. They try to attack, and they do a very good job of it. And I think that the River Dragons uh, have to be very cognizant of that fact, and I think they have become so, knowing that, you know what, they're, uh, they're not going to be beaten easily. 
even though Columbus has continued to put up the points, one of the things I'd really like to see the River Dragons do, and I'm sure that the coaching staff would as well, is to get out in front early, maintain that lead, and then that's when you kind of batten down the hatches. And when the River Dragons really need to try to help out their goaltender, take care of things defensively, you know, we've heard Boomer say it many, many times this season, he wants to score four, give up two. Well, the River Dragons are fully capable of scoring eight, but then they give up five. And that is not necessarily a lasting formula for success in the playoffs. Columbus, if they can get that goals against down around that two mark, there are very few teams in this league that are gonna be able to beat you if you're shutting down teams offensively like that on a night by night basis. Whether it's the Carolina Thunderbirds, uh, the Binghamton Black Bears, no matter who it is, and that, I think, is what the River Dragons really need to focus on coming down the stretch here, trying to get that uh, defensive prowess really just cranked up as high as they possibly can. And again, don't forget the regular season's coming to a close here. The final game of the regular season is going to be right here in Columbus, April 13th. It's Fan Appreciation Night. It's also, by the way, our final family four-pack game. And uh, put a little plug in for that right now. The Chick-fil-A Midland Kissin' 99.3 Family 4-Pack includes four tickets to a River Dragons game, four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, and four Chick-fil-A coupons. That's over $100 in value for just $40. You can't even get four tickets for $40. Take advantage of this great deal brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland Kissin' 99.3, Buffalo Rock Pepsi, Brewster's Ice Cream, and, of course, the Columbus Civic Center. April 13th is the last game. It's Fan Appreciation Night. We're going to have... Plenty of contest prizes and giveaways on that evening, but the Family 4-Pack is available only through the River Dragons office. Give us a call at 706-507-4625. That's 706-507-4625. All right, let's take a look at the rosters for these teams here. Coming in to today's game, taking a look out at warm-ups, both Jay Krupp and Jordan Popoff dressed, taking warm-ups for the River Dragons, I know Nolan Slahetka was battling a, a couple of bumps, but he was out there. However, Nathan Bockwell, number 18, not out there. Slahetka missed last night's game, but he was out there for warm-ups today. But it looks like Bockwell not going to go for this afternoon's contest, and so Popoff should draw back into the lineup with Bockwell getting a little bit of a rest day. And then Jay Krupp in the lineup as well here this afternoon with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard back behind the bench after uh, the successful wedding of his daughter Alex here on Saturday. So congratulations again to the whole Bichard family. And Boomer back and looking forward to this matchup here against the Motor City Rockers. We're going to have a chat with him a little bit later on talking about, hey, what it's like to have to go out there with a 3-3. Three and three. The other thing, too, is it's going to be William Lavalier who it's his turn in the rotation here, but it is Colgan backing up today. And uh, Hunter Brostick, who got the start and the win last night, his first professional start, his first professional win. Congratulations to him. And uh, it looks like he is going to have to head back to Liberty University to finish up some scholastic duties, but he's got his five games in now, so he would be playoff eligible if the need arose that Verostek could then play. And a lot of these players coming out of junior and college right now in the FPHL, each team's allowed to sign up to five. When they do come out, you have to play five, or dress at least for five games, If in the case of a goaltender, games to be playoff eligible. And so you're going to see these players kind of hit that. Obviously, Hugh Anderson is well past that mark as he's come out and done a great job here with the River Dragons. Earned himself a regular spot on the defensive rotation. Um, he's been a great surprise for Columbus here, and you never know. There might be a couple more players coming out here in the near future for Columbus, but running out of time to get the five games in, and that's going to be the most important part of the whole thing. Keep in mind, those players do not count against the roster limit and do not count against the salary cap, so something else just to keep tucked in the back of your mind. All right, we're going to take another break here in the Air Force Eating and Air pregame show. When we come back, time for that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard, and then it'll be our chat with River Dragons head coach, Jerome Bichard. Stay tuned. Plenty more coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey.
outside. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place, it's the way we do business. must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. And we are back here in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. The Zamboni out there circling the ice here on a Sunday afternoon. If you're in the local listening area, 106.9 rocks with you. We invite you to come down and join us here. Still tickets available for this one here this afternoon and some good seats. You want to sit down by the glass? We can do that. You like to sit up a little higher, see the whole ice? We can do that as well. My favorite, by the way, about halfway up in the corner. Awesome seats. You can see everything going on. You're close to the action, but... You also get a little bit of a breather. I'll tell you what, there's actually really not a bad seat here at the Columbus Civic Center. This is a really nice building for hockey and uh, just a tremendous atmosphere here whenever the River Dragons are here playing. And uh, our thanks certainly to the fans here in the Chattahoochee Valley who make it that way. It is an awful lot of fun to play here. The guys love playing here. And uh, you know what, it's, it's a big part of it is having a fan base that, you know, shows up and is loud and cheers. And, I mean, every team wants that everywhere. Every place you go, you want to have the best fans. You want to have the loudest fans. And uh, you know what? No exception here in Columbus. And we appreciate everybody who does support the team, not only the ticket buyers, but also the corporate sponsors and uh, everyone who helps us put this show on and enjoy, in my opinion, uh, the best game going. So hopefully you're able to be a part of that no matter where you are. By the way, do want to say hi to any Motor City Rockers fans we've got tuning us in here this afternoon as we're counting it down to that 4.05 p.m. start time. Okay, Out of Town Scoreboard is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. And right now in the FPHL, we're the only game. As a matter of fact, the other game is not coming up until later, and I'm going to go ahead and hazard a guess we will be wrapped up by the time Binghamton and Watertown start at 7.05 Eastern time at Watertown Arena. That was a big victory yesterday, and I'll tell you what, for the Watertown Wolves to pull out that 4-2 win, nothing short of impressive. That's a big one right there. And I'll tell you, it, uh, it, for Watertown, they're battling, and that's the thing. You look at Binghamton. Binghamton's got the division sewn up, and if they do want to coast a little, they could. Uh, and, you know, it's not an impossible task to catch Columbus. But it would require a lot if the Black Bears are going to do so. So if they take the foot off the gas a little bit here down the stretch, it really could affect who makes it into the playoffs at the bottom of the Empire Division because Elmira is battling with Watertown for that final spot. And as of today, Elmira has played 50 games, Watertown 48, and they're separated by three points. So if Watertown wins the two games in hand, they'll be in front of Elmira. 
Elmira's got 54 points. Watertown has 51. So nothing is settled really in the Empire outside of Binghamton in that first spot. Motor City and Danbury battling it out for the 2-3. And that number four spot, Elmira and Watertown are battling it out. Taking a look at the NHL, we did have one earlier game today. The Capitals shut out the Jets 3-0 in that one. And going on right now, you've got the Penguins 4-2 up on the Colorado Avalanche at the second period intermission. Puck drops a little later this afternoon, 5 o'clock Eastern. Devils are at the Islanders. At 6 o'clock, Leafs at the Hurricanes, Oilers at Senators, Panthers at Flyers. 8 p.m. tonight, Stars at Coyotes. 8.30, Lightning at Ducks. 9 o'clock Eastern, Sabres are at the Calgary Flames. And the Canadians are at the Seattle Kraken. And then if you've got your bracket handy, let's take a look at the men's college hoops. What's going on right now? We do have a final from earlier today. Number two, Marquette. 81-77 winners over number 10, Colorado. Right now, number one, Purdue at the half. Leads number eight, Utah State, 49-33. At 5.15 today, number four, Duke, and number 12, James Madison. At 6.10, number six, Clemson, and number three, Baylor. At 7.10, number four, Alabama, and number 12, Grand Canyon. 7.45, number one, Yukon, and number nine, Northwestern. At 8.40, number one, Houston, and number nine, Texas A&M. And also at 9.40 p.m., number five, San Diego State, at number 13, Yale. So there is your men's college basketball bracket busting updates actually at this point i think things have kind of settled down a little bit but well i suppose you never know that's why the tournament is the tournament and they call it march madness all right time for us to take another break here in this air force eating and air pregame show when we come back it's our chat with river dragons head coach jerome b shard stay tuned that's on the other side and then we'll get around to dropping the puck on this one river dragons and the rockers coming up at 405 p.m eastern time this is columbus river dragons hockey we're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Get internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom! It's a Sunday afternoon hockey game. And uh, you know what? Not only is it a 3-3, three and three, but also an afternoon game. And we don't see a lot of these through the River Dragons. But in your experience, not only as a coach, but also as a player, what changes when you've got an afternoon puck drop? Um, you know, your timing's a little off as far as your, your day routine, your schedule goes. But, I mean... Uh, short turnaround, I mean, it's mind over matter kind of thing. Um, and, you know, I think the last time we did this, 
you know, I think we played our best game in our third uh, our third game in three nights. So uh, hopefully we can uh, replicate that. You know, you talk about that routine. Guys are used to maybe the morning skate. They eat, then they nap, then they come back to the rink. I mean, you're not getting a morning skate here. So really, uh, maybe you hope you still have that energy in the tank of just jumping out. But especially in a three and three, I mean, there's just a lot of factors at play. Yeah, no. And then, you know, you throw in the fact that it's three and three with the same team. Um, I think... That could be a positive as far as kind of keeping the energy level up just because there is probably some animosity going and um, I think you can maybe uh, build on some some of that animosity and, and try to keep that energy level up per se. So um, kind of flip a coin and see what happens, I guess. Well, it'll be uh, interesting today. It's the last time we see Motor City at home, and the schedule is winding down right now. How much talk is there with this team about, hey, guys, keep focused. We're very close to locking up the division and eventually the league. You know, um, it's uh, talked about and it's on our minds. Um, and, you know, again, we just got to kind of ride that ride that wave right here. We don't want to be up high. We don't be too low. And, um, you know, we can't get into bad habits. And, uh, you know, the one thing we are, you know, wanting is that, uh, is that uh, division, division title uh, to have home ice against uh, the Carolina guys. And then, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully uh, home ice throughout the, uh, the playoffs if we can stay, stay at number one. I also know at this point of the season, nobody is 100% healthy. Uh, we see a couple of guys maybe in and out of the lineup. We've talked about the depth of the River Dragons all season. Do you still view this as just another opportunity? Hey, all right, next man up. Somebody's got to step up. Well, I think uh, Pops was in last night, so I think he played really well uh, from what I hear. Uh, you know, Slats is kind of day-to-day, um, so he may be back in. Um, but I think uh, I think Bockwell might have a little of uh, a bump or bruise type thing, and he might be... He might uh, need a rest tonight. So, um, you know, with that said, we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens. A little bit of play by ear. All right, let's yeah. go with keys to the game here on a Sunday afternoon. Three and three. Uh, hopefully get that first goal. I think we need that uh, the first goal to keep our energy going. And, you know, the, the more simple we play, the, the better we are. Uh, making sure we're, again, no turnovers. Uh, get the puck in deep. Uh, you know. I guess shoot the puck where it seems to be working for for the guys they've uh, they've scored a ton uh, the last couple of games so uh, keep shooting the puck and, and just keep it simple all right boom thanks for joining us best of luck today you bet back with the drop of the puck in just a moment this is River Dragons hockey winter is upon us we must prepare cold and darkness will spread across the land the nights will be long hey what are you guys doing Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. 
Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. month at Zelmo's. All Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck. Pull your car or truck into Zelmo's, Zelmo's, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. 89.3. Absolutely love to stop by. And we are glad that all of you are joining us here. Whether on the radio side of 1069 Really Rocks or if you're checking it out on the YouTube channel today at Columbus River Dragons or perhaps a replay on Beam TV, no matter how you're watching or listening, we appreciate you being a part of it. Starting line was being introduced down on the ice right now for the Columbus River Dragons. Starting lineups for tonight, including the announcement of Lavalier as the starting goaltender for the River Dragons. We'll get to the starting goaltenders in just a moment, but first, we will get to our moment of silence here and then our national anthem before this afternoon's game. in the books and it's time for us to get ready to go here in this Chick-fil-A Midland first period let's take a look at the starting goaltenders for this afternoon's game William Lavalier getting the nod in net for the River Dragons 3-6-0-2 on the regular season 
with a 3.39 goals against and a 9.08 save percentage. Lavalier is 2 and 1 since coming over to the River Dragons in a trade from Baton Rouge. Trevor Babin back in net here at 18, 9, 0, oh, and 4. Babin took the loss on Friday night. 2.91 goals against average and a 9.19 save percentage. And so it should be a pretty good goaltender's duel out there here this afternoon. Our ceremonial puck drop taken care of as well. River Dragons in the teal fifth anniversary uniforms. By the way, if you like the fifth anniversary uniforms or the fifth anniversary merch, you can head on over to rdragonsmerch.com. Check out what's going on over there. We still have some St. Patrick's Day merch, which I still see some fans wearing here. Plus the military night merchandise as well as the regular season and the limited edition fifth anniversary merchandise as well. Columbus in the teals. Here on Sunday, they'll roll left to right in front of our broadcast location. Your referee introductions for today's game are presented by the Optical Shop in Phoenix City. You should see the game they're missing. Right now, the Optical Shop, for just $99 in a bag of chips, you can get two pair of eyeglasses. Your referee today, number 95, Sean Deloey, and number 73, Phil Rusler. The linesman, number 14, Jeff Marcinek, and number 35, Jason Messamore. Underway, River Dragons push into the Rockers zone right away here to try to get it going, but Motor City back out to center with the puck. Vanderweel has to turn back inside his own line. Going to be dumped in well wide of Lavalier. Underwood sends it up the wall towards Moore. Moore turns it over in the slot, but the puck poked away, goes out to center. Well, you don't like seeing the cross ice pass in your own zone early in the game, but uh, hopefully they wake up from that. Columbus backpedaling into its own end here. Smith up after the puck on the forecheck. Tied up by Shinkarik. Shinkarik trying to move it the other way to Moore. Ahead to Hunter. Hunter in over the line. Long wrister. Bam with the glove save, and he'll just hang on to that. 102 into this hockey game. No score here between the Dragons and the Rockers. Final regular season meeting in Columbus. These two teams have one more head-to-head -head matchup next week. That will be in Frazier, Michigan, at Big Boy Arena. Face off is one back to the left point, kept in by Columbus. Drifts away off the stick of Petrantonio behind the net. Motor City. Skips off the glass, puck out to center. Anderson has to hustle back, feeds Petrantonio. He goes on to the right wing for Doe, and Doe moves in. Has help with him. Doe in front, looking for Jamaev, tipped it wide. Jamaev back on the near side in front. Petrantonio couldn't get a stick to it. Tied up just as he tried to get that quick shot off. Motor City back the other way. T.J. Delaney on the right side. His centering feet goes right out the other side of the goal crease. And Petrantonio flips it ahead in space. Columbus looking for the change here. Svensson knocked down off the puck. As Doe pushed him down, and Doe couldn't hang on to the biscuit either. And now Motor City will try to come the other way. Left side, Miguel Diaz in with a long shot into the chest of Lavalier. His first save of the game in the books. He'll hold on to that. The draw will come to his right. Hunter Bersani in for this faceoff. King, the former River Dragon, tried to push it ahead there. Conway couldn't help it out. And now it ends up with Cody Wickline ahead. And Bersani hooked up as he tried to get through center. Puck away and Josh Colton will go D to D. Rotondi on the left side. Pass to center, pop off, cut it off, but he ran into his D partner. And now in a chance, King on the side, and his shot out to greet it was Lavalier. Nice job by Lavalier to make the read there, get out on his angle to his left. Back of the River Dragons, Wickline leaving to Storjahan. He's got traffic, and his shot, that hit a body in front. Fed to the left point, Underwood. On to the far side, Duncan Rister, tipped away by Babin. Ends up in the near corner. Around to the right point, Underwood. Another shot saved made by Babin. Wickline on the rebound. Behind the net. Wanted to wrap it around. Was hooked up. Feeds the left point. Duncan. Duncan back down the rim. Near corner. Wickline behind the net. Storjahan. 
in front. Pass went across the crease. Wick line, left point. Duncan backing up. Shoot, save Babin. Puck pushed into the near side. Conway ends up with it, and the Rockers able to get it away to center. River Dragons are going to put out McDonald, Moore, and Hunter here in the line change, but right now they're hemmed in by this Rockers forecheck. Smith with a turnaround chance. That goes off the side of the net. Columbus has to hurry it along to the left point. Vanderweel steps down. He keeps it in. Moore right in front of his own net. Loops behind the net. He's pressured back there, trying to get away from the forecheck of Gulo. Finds McDonald back towards Moore. Pass deflected out of the air. Duncan will fire it in from center. Babin has to kick it away with the right pad. Wells able to clear out for Motor City. Columbus has to tag up, so they will wait. And now Shinkarik sends it around the rim again. Bounces past Babin. Far side Wells bumps with Hunter. Left point held in. Anderson looking. His shot tipped in front. Great save by Babin on the deflection off his own defenseman. Vanderweel back the other way. Left side Koash. That feed for the back door. Nobody there. Svintz off, tied up by Anderson. McDonald in that pile. Smith looking to pull it out, sends it through the slot up to the left point, and it will not be kept in. Miguel Diaz was just coming out on the line change, did not get there in time. River Dragons regroup at center, fired around the glass. Far side, here's Wells. He'll try the near to Miguel Diaz. Lifts a wedge out to center. Pop off on it there. Jemayev, cross ice, bounced off of Doe. It's onside. Doe up top will send it around the rim. Behind the net, here's Krupp. Krupp centers. That one just missed on the way through, but it's still in the slot. Not out yet. Puck at the line. There's a shot coming in wide of the net. As Lahetka tried to find the goal. Jemayev from an off angle. Save Babin, a rebound in front. Krupp a shot blocked by the D. Right point held in by Popoff. Behind the net it goes, far corner, Jemayev, left points, Lahetka, his shot is blocked, and it's tipped past him at the line. Three on one for the Rockers. Delaney right side, Slot gets it back, cross ice feed, and fanning on it was Fintsov, he had a wide open net. Joe trying to help out behind the net, pop off, tied up with Fintsov. Oh my goodness. Great passing by the Rockers, but in the end, they just never got a shot on goal. 5.45 gone here in the first. No score, River Dragons and the Rockers. We played a couple of minutes without a whistle here. Bersani at center, he'll fire it in on Babin, and Babin pulls it in to get said whistle. And that'll send us to our first media timeout of the period. Scoreless here early in the first. First period action presented by Chick-fil-A Midland on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Hi, I'm Jade, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit is the savoriness of the sausage, the fluffiness of the egg. Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me? Rockers end of things. The draw will be to the left of Trevor Babin. Five on five hockey right now, no score. Six two are the shots in favor of Columbus. Not quite six minutes into the first. Bersani, Wickline, Storjahan out up front. And the draw one back right to Wickline off his skate, feeds Underwood. Underwood right side, Storjahan slot, and it's tipped away from Wickline out of the zone. So Duncan will go all the way back for it. 
The loop out from behind the net. Brody Duncan right side ahead. Storjahan chips it on. Two on one if they hurry. Now Wickline moving in feeds Bersani, but nice job to reach back and tip the puck away there by Koash. Puck ends up bouncing all the way back to the Columbus end. And now the Rockers have to change it up. Wickline takes it on the right side, down low, tucks it around behind the net, feeds the far side. There's a shot save, Babin, rebound in front. Babin, another stop there, and Albersani mixing it up at the side of the net. Not a whole lot coming out of that pile up. 6.39 gone in the first. River Dragons and the Rockers are scoreless. Well, this first period is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland in our next heat with the River Dragons event. will be at Chick-fil-A Midland this Tuesday, March 26th from 6 to 7 p.m. Come eat with the team, get autographs, selfies, and more. That's only at Chick-fil-A Midland Tuesday, March 26th from 6 to 7. Puck right in front off the faceoff, bat of the save. Lost his goal stick in the process. As the puck sent down the ice, no icing here. And Babin able to retrieve his twig. Puck to center, Vanderwill. Watch by McDonald. Giuliano will feed it back. Wells on the right side. Into space here, Svintsov off his boot has a bouncer, and he sends it wide. Puck was up on edge there. Comes to the near side where more battles, but Giuliano keeps it in. Svintsov into the front of the net, bounced it off. Anderson came right back to him. Now he's knocked down in the corner. Puck underneath him for a moment here as it bounces to the line and down. And now Vanderweel and McDonald and way out to play it as Babin off the glass to center. And now turning the other way, Delaney in, hooks it on the left side. Svinsov with it has to wait. Half of his team was changing. Vanderweel trying to support on the left side. Delaney got it towards him, but he was pinned up by Anderson. And now Shinkarik with a pass on the wing towards Hunter. Hunter just helping that one into the Motor City and River Dragons to the change. Back on the left side, Miguel Diaz in with a shot and an easy glove save there for Lavalier. He'll catch and hold for a draw to his right. River Dragons hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting. Specializing in payroll, bookkeeping, income, and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at bkiaccounting.com. Draw to the right of Lavalier. And it's one back to the left point. McGill Diaz on it. They'll keep it in for Motor City. King, shot towards the net, goes wide. Austin Dole feed it back, and now get it back on the left side. He'll move to center. Doe to the line. Challenged there by Conway, lost it. And Petrantonio will turn it back to center, pop off. Left side to Slahetka, back across Petrantonio, and on the right wing with a lead for Doe. Doe follows him down the wall. Jamaif helping out, pokes it free, Doe. Tied up by McGill Diaz. Conway on the far side gets it around Petrantonio. And now Rockers looking to push the other way. They'll dump it in and go for the change. River Dragons looking to move it ahead. Pass is picked off. Petrantonio had to battle to get it back. Gave it to Storjahan. He feeds it back to Petrantonio. Petrantonio curling back inside his own line. While Columbus working on a change here. Tried to move it ahead. Bersani will dump it down. Rotondi. Moving it ahead. Gulo. Gulo had the pass tipped out and recovered at center by Columbus. Fed to the right wing side. That one is tipped in as Wickline trying to get to it. Rotondi on it. Backhands it away. Bersani tips it to the wall. Bersani now left half boards. Left point kept in. Long shot. Bab and a glove save. And he'll hang on. Duncan putting it towards the net there. And having a conversation, it looks like, with the Motor City bench on the way back. Draw to the right of the Rockers' goal. Brusani out with Wickline and Storjahan. Underwood and Duncan, the defensive pair. No Bockwell today if you're just joining us. 
little bit of a maintenance day for him. As that puck sent away to center ice. And the Rockers dump it in. Duncan on it. They'll try the left wing side. And now it's turned over in the high slot. But Georgia Hunt tried to battle it back. Cannot. Puck stays in on the right side. T.J. Delaney tied up on the wall. Duncan on him. Squirts free behind the goal. Underwood trying to hustle it along the near side. Got it to the point not out. Vanderweel a shot, and that's deflected on goal. Save, Lavalier, no hold. Vanderweel got quite a bit on that one. It's deflected pretty high out. Lavalier down to the butterfly, able to make the stop. And he hangs on for a faceoff to his right. Giuliano in for the faceoff. In across from McDonald. They tie up. McDonald wins it back. Skipped off the glass and out of play. That'll get us to a break. Exactly halfway through this first period of play at the 10-minute mark. Scoreless between the River Dragons and the Rockers. Columbus leading the shots on goal parade 9-4. We're back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Dragons hockey. Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. And we are back exactly halfway through period number one, brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Tom Callahan here with you. River Dragons looking for the weekend sweep here of the Motor City Rockers. They won Friday and Saturday night, trying to close it out here with a Sunday matinee. Draw will be to the right of William Lavalier, who gets back to the crease here after our media timeout. Giuliano and McDonald will face it off again. This time it's won back by the Rockers. Quick shot by Vanderweel, and that is gobbled up in the chest protector. Lovely year, another save there. And once again, we'll use the same face-off circle to the near side of the ice. One back again to Vanderweel, but this time he fans on his shot. Moore trying to push it ahead. Oh, boy, hit McDonald's in the heel of the skates. Otherwise, might have been a two-on-one chance there. Puck drifting away to center. Delaney trying to push it ahead. It ends up with Wells. Wells gains the stripe and sends it to an open wing where Shinkarik will pick it up. River Dragons looking to push the other way here. Pass ahead. Finds Hunter. Hunter onto the left side. McDonald cross ice, but there's nobody there except Rockers. That one has moved ahead and dumped in. By Motor City. Moore will go back to track it down. Columbus will regroup. Shinkarik spins away from Lane King. He'll look on the right side, stop, and he'll just delay things here. So Columbus elects to go for a change of the forward lines. Petrantonio deflects that pass down. There'll be no icing here as Milam. Back after it in the Motor City end. He'll try the left side, gets it ahead to King. King steps in over the line. Swings it down the left wing wall. Centering attempt and a big hit on the near side by Alexander Jemayev as he lowers the boom on Sneath. That lead pass down the ice missed, but no icing here. And another hit by Jemayev trying to wake things up here a little bit for the River Dragons. Jemayev, another attempt at a shoulder on Sneath who just curled away. And another hit near side, puck out as Petrantonio ran into his man. Finally an icing call here against the River Dragons, but well, the uh, River Dragons trying to wake things up with some physical play. It's 
to say the energy has been sparse in this game to this point is fairly accurate. 8.25 to go here in the first. River Dragons and the Rockers honestly look like two teams who played two games in two days and are now embarking on their third. It'll pick up eventually. It always does, but sometimes the first period just lags behind a little bit. Here's a lead ahead for Jay Krupp. Krupp into the forward zone. He knocks down McGill Diaz, gives him a little extra. Boy, he's lucky the referee was right there. But as they have this weekend, I mean, the reps have just kind of let the boys be boys, and we have not seen a lot of penalties going either way. In fact, last night, Columbus didn't even have a power play. And now Bersani tried to hop around the check of Colton there. Bersani wanted an interference call, but I don't think he's going to get that one. Underwood. Behind his own net. He'll try the right side. Pop off to center. Rotondi chops it away. Rockers step back in. Left side. Here's a chance. Svinsoff cutting in the slot. Walks it around. In with a shot. And a save made lovely air. And he will scissor the pads. Closed on the puck. And uh, here we go. The pushing it. Shoving in front of the River Dragons goal. And we're starting to level up the animosity a little bit here. But I tell you what, Svensov had a good shooting angle, but then continued to his right. And he had Lavalier down to the point where he had to dive headfirst to his left, but he made the save at that point. And a much more difficult angle to score from. But the puck stays out. Nice break for the River Dragons. Draw to the right of the Columbus goal. Taken away in the slot. Shink Erickson to push ahead, and here comes Columbus. Left side, a feed ahead. Now Underwood hooks it right in front. Look at her wick line. Couldn't get it through. Back the other way, Motor City. Left side corner, dumped in. Giuliano in after it. Duncan. Far side, Svinsov on it, trying to cut in front. Lost it to the point. Ends up on the left side, Rotondi. His wrister, that hit traffic. Puck kept into the right point. With Giuliano's in a clump in front of the net there with Brody Duncan. Now Giuliano free behind the net. Centering feed is tipped away by Wickline and out of the zone. Well, Motor City with its probably best offensive foray here in the last couple of minutes. Both teams will change it up. 6.38 and counting to go in the first. No score. River Dragons and the Rockers. Columbus will move the puck ahead. On the right side, here's McDonald. Justin McDonald in with a shot. Sent it wide on the glove side. And it's swept right back out down. The ice should be an icing call. If it's got enough gas, it's dying quickly. And they wave it off. Motor City on a chance in front, they score. Columbus assumed the icing. And instead, it ends up in the back of the net. Declan Conway, and the puck did make it over the goal line, not by much. But I think Columbus was assuming that there was a whistle coming. They eased up, and next thing you know, Motor City sticks it in the back of the net. 13.54, time of the goal. So for Conway, that's his 18th of the year. And now Columbus, let's see what the response is here. King on the near side of his own end, trying to move it out for Motor City. And they will dump it in. Lavalier, pop off, takes it from him, reverses it around, and now Columbus pushing ahead. Right side, here's Moore to McDonald. McDonald in over the line, sentenced to the right corner. Moore after it, knocked away before it got to Hunter. McDonald has turned back down, and now a penalty coming up. It's going to be against Kyle Moore. Cross-checking will be the call. And so now Moore going to the penalty box. Four 
14-39, time of the penalty. Well, the River Dragons certainly have to be careful. There is a fine line between wanting to assert that physical game and ending up taking a penalty here. More into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box for two minutes for cross-checking. Time of the penalty, 14-39. River Dragons kill is number one in the FPHL at 85.1%. Second on the power play, 27.8 for the Rockers. There's Giuliano. Feeds it across. Oh, boy, that deflected in front. Almost caught the near side post. Motor City will go back to work setting it up again. Feed through the slot. That missed everybody and comes out of the zone. Underwood. On the puck, sends it down the ice. Columbus will change up its penalty killing unit. It's interesting, we've, talking, we've been talking all weekend about the special teams matchup. And it really hasn't come to fruition, especially with Columbus not drawing a power play in yesterday's game. This one just the first power play of the game. Now mind you, we're four and a half minutes to go in the first period. There's time, but just the way things have been called this weekend, we haven't seen a lot of power play chances. In an 8-5 game, all 13 goals were even strength the other night. Puck at the left point, here's Koash. He'll keep that in on the wall, but it's intercepted and cleared out. A roller down the ice. Colton back for it. There's Columbus again to change it up. Quick line and Bersani out up top here. Here's Colton on the left side. He'll feed it across, and that pass ends up back on the near wall. Bersani with a chop at it, couldn't get it out, but chance here, Shinkarik finds a seam, and down it goes. 24 seconds to go with the man advantage for the Rockers. They lead it 1-0. Lane King pushing up the right side. He runs into Slahetka, but continues on. Centers the puck, it comes over to Conway. His shot hit a body. And now Columbus a chance to clear. They do pop that one out to center. Time ticking down to the power play and out of the Abercrombie bonding penalty box is Kyle Moore. He'll move in. He's got Hunter with him, but it was poked off his stick. And now Smith gets run into by Moore. Hunter with the puck on the right side. In front, a tip, back door, and that one is shoveled wide. Rebound centered. Hit a defender, came back to McDonald. Moore from the slot, a shot goes wide. Babbins lost his goal stick. And it's cleared out by Motor City down the ice. That's an icing call. And a penalty coming up. Well, they waved off the icing here. With a delayed penalty coming, Kyle Moore was decked in front of the net. That's what the penalty is going to be. So the extra man out for the River Dragons. I am surprised they waved off the icing, though. Two and a half to go. Here in the first, six on five. Here's a chance in front. Through the legs, Ryan Hunter couldn't get it to go. And the whistle goes. Babin did not have the puck. It's a weird little sequence of hockey right there. 2.24 to go in the first. one nothing Rockers. We'll be right back with more in a moment. It's the River Dragons heading on to the law power play when we return. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. I Spice? Wait. Who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, starry does taste better. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken, instant classic. Yes. Beam, bringing East Alabama more. It's in our name. Slashing the call against Smith that puts the River Dragons on the loft power play. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover. Only at the loft. 
Draw to the right of Babbitt. River Dragons power play, 26.8%. That's third in the league. Second on the kill for the Rockers at 83.5, and they start with a clear. Columbus cannot keep the face off in. So the River Dragons will go back to work. The feet ahead, looking for McDonald on the left side. McDonald to the left point. Quickly over to the right side, Petrantonio walks in with a shot and a glove save, Babin. He'll hold on to that one. 20 seconds gone to the man advantage for Columbus. 2.04 left to go with the first. Petrantonio out with Storjahan, Doe, Moore, and McDonald. They call this unit the five. Doe will put it over to McDonald as the River Dragons control the draw. Storjahan, right corner. Right side, McDonald, top of the blue line. Doe, his shot blocked at the line, and he's able to keep it in. McDonald sends it deep. Storjahan after it. It's hot up in the corner. Trying to play it up the boards. McDonald, a bouncing puck in the air. Can't keep it in. And now it's fed ahead, and a chance. Giuliano in shorthanded, shoots on a right pad. Save there by Lavalier. Big stop. Boy, that was absolutely huge in a shorthanded situation. Back of the River Dragons, right side, Storjahan. Feeds it over to the back door, Petrantonio to Moore in front and deflected wide. McDonald across, Petrantonio shoots. That is blocked, came back to him, feeds it over to McDonald. He's looking in front, a feed to the back door, tip. Now Petrantonio scores! <laughs> Josh Petrantonio with a wrist shot that looks like it deflected off one of the Rockers' defenders. It beats Babin for a power play marker, and this game is tied at one. For Josh Petrantonio coming off a four-point game last night, which featured his 350th professional point. He keeps that train a rolling with his 24th of the season. 18.55 time on the goal. That's a big one for momentum's sake. Rockers trying to clear the zone here as the puck pushed right back in. Here's a chance in the slot. Bersani knock away to the line. Underwood a shot. Oh, deflected in front by Krupp. Wickline battling to get it back. Has it in the corner. Wickline on the wall. Puck forced to the front of the net and a bouncer there. Bersani knocked down. Got it back to Wickline on the right side. Time ticking down. 28 seconds of the period. Krupp in the corner. Bersani. Try to center, blocked by Babin. Bersani knocked down again in the corner, back up on his skates. He does get the puck up top, but is picked off by Smith. He clears to the left point. Duncan stretching, can't keep it in. Underwood back down the ice after it, all the way behind his own net. Underwood will use the screen from the cage. And now he'll try the left side. Three seconds to go. Columbus is going to run out of time here, won't get a chance off. Bersani actually did get one off of the horn, but Babin makes the save. And the River Dragons head into the locker room with a late power play goal that helps them tie things up here. Boy, that one was very important for the energy and enthusiasm, not only of this crowd, but the boys in Teal as well. As the Rockers scoring first and carrying some pretty good momentum in this first period up until that point. Well, maybe we will see a little bit of that special teams battle materialize here this afternoon. Who knows? But Petrantonio with the goal and, well, guess who picks up an assist on that one? That's right, Justin McDonald. And his league record scoring streak continues to extend. It is now 37 straight games with a point. McDonald has scored in every game since December 1st, 34 goals. 51 assists, 85 points in 37 games. Unbelievable. We are watching history happen every single night out here with the Columbus River Dragons. 1-1 one, one after 1. 
we are going to step into our first period intermission report, which is brought to you by Sun South John Deere equipment for those that do. Up next, it's our chat with Kirk Underwood, and we will chat with the River Dragons defenseman, talk to him a little bit about this Sunday matinee affair. And then, of course, we've got his Elmo zipping out of town scoreboard, a scoring wrap, and a whole lot more coming your way. Stay tuned. 1-1 one, one after 1. This is River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Welcome back to the first period intermission report. We're joined by Kirk Underwood right now. Kirk, thanks for joining us. And uh, three and three here. How are you feeling on the back end of all this? Pretty good, honestly. Three and threes are tough on the body, but we feel pretty good this weekend. We've been doing a lot of work to, uh, to make sure that we're prepared for series like this. I think that second game, certainly if we look at last time in Motor City with a three and three, that was the time they got you. But last night, you guys seemed to come out with a little bit different uh, attack plan, if you will. Yeah, absolutely, and I think the last time that they they kind of stole a game from us, we were on a long streak. I think when you go that many games in a row, 16 winning in a row, it's it's bound to happen at some point. Uh, and I think they just maybe caught us on a bad day, whereas yesterday, that second game of the weekend, we were fully prepared to take it to them. So knowing that you have this third game here today, and we've seen it Friday got a little physical. Yesterday got a little bit more physical. Do you think today uh, maybe it might boil over a little bit? Yeah, it just depends. I mean, three and three is that third game of the weekend. Everyone's feeling it, right? Uh, the ramifications from all the physicality. So I think that there's potential for it to happen, but I think both teams are going to come out trying to win the game, and I think that that's probably going to take precedent. Well, to your point, I mean, these are important points for both the River Dragons and Motor City. So, I mean, you know, it's still important to get those three points for both of these clubs. Yeah, absolutely, right? And we're coming down the stretch. We're in first place. 
we want to maintain that. Every team that's won since I've been around this league and been paying attention to it uh, has been in first place at the end of the season. So that's huge for us. I mean, we need to win this game, and I think they're thinking the same thing. Well, then, just draw it up for us here. Uh, if you could put an ideal game plan together for this afternoon, what do the River Dragons need to do? I think that acronym of KISS, right? Keep it simple, stupid. I think it really just boils down to that. It's just got to be simple hockey, all the right plays at the right time, not trying to do too much uh, and not trying to treat it like it's a, it's a Sunday game, right? It's got to be simple. It's got to be hard. It's got to be fast. All right, Kirk, thanks for joining us. Best of luck out there. Thank you so much. Back with more of the First Period Intermission Report in just a moment. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place, it's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys, who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. The Motor City Rockers. And so it's time for us to take a look back at our scoring wrap from period number one. And believe it or not, Motor City got on the board first in this one. Declan Conway is 18th of the year from King and Steve at 1354 on a play where it looked like there was going to be an icing call. The puck just barely made it over the goal line, and I think the River Dragons assumed the icing whistle. They didn't get it. Play continued, but the River Dragons kind of pulled up, and instead the Motor City Rockers took advantage. And the pass in front to Conway as he beats William Lavalier. On a quick centering feed from, I believe it was T.J. Sneath. Sneath and King end up with the assists on the goal here. And, boy, Conway, no hesitation, just put the puck away immediately at 13.54, and that made it a 1-0 Motor City lead. But Columbus would come back with a power play goal late in the frame, 18.55. Time of the goal, Josh Petrantonio, who one night after netting his 350th professional point, 
in a four-point effort last night. Tonight gets the first goal of the game for the River Dragons, a power play marker from Justin McDonald, who extends his scoring streak to 37 games. Yes, it's a league record, and it has been for a while. McDonald just continues to find a way to put points up on the board. Columbus cashes in with a man advantage at 18.55. 1 1 after 1, shots in the period, 14 9 in favor of Columbus. Power plays, River Dragons 1 for 1, and the Motor City Rockers 0 for 1 with the man advantage. Taking a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip, and there's only one other game in the FPHL this Sunday, and it won't start for another couple hours. A 7.05 Eastern puck drop at Watertown Arena between the Wolves and the Binghamton Black Bears. Meanwhile, in the NHL, a couple of finals from earlier today. The Capitals shut out the Jets 3-0. The Colorado Avalanche come back and take one from the Pittsburgh Penguins in overtime. 5-4. The Avs were down most of that hockey game, but put on a late push. We're able to tie it and then win it in the OT. Coming up at 5 o'clock Eastern, you've got the Devils at the Islanders. At 6 o'clock Eastern, the Leafs are at the Hurricanes. Oilers are at the Senators. Panthers at the Flyers. 8 p.m. Eastern, Stars at Coyotes. 8.30, the Lightning at the Ducks. 9 o'clock Eastern tonight, Sabres at Flames, and the Canadians are at the Kraken. And then taking a look at the men's college hoops scoreboard, March Madness in full swing. From earlier today, number two, Marquette, takes care of number 10, Colorado, 81-77. Going on right now, number one, Purdue. It's all over but the shouting against number eight, Utah State, 102-67. Boilermakers set to move on. 5.15 p.m., number four, Duke, number 12, James Madison. At 6.10 p.m., you've got number six, Clemson, and number three, Baylor. 7.10, you've got number 12, Grand Canyon, and number four, Alabama. At 7.45, it's number one, Yukon and number nine, Northwestern. At 8.40, number one, Houston, and number nine, Texas A&M. At 9.40, to round out the evening, you have number five, San Diego State, and number 13, Yale. So that's a look at our Zelmo Zip and Out of Town scoreboard here in this one. And I do want to revisit the uh, playoff standings picture for you here as the River Dragons will make up one of the games in hand they have with Carolina with this game here today. But, I mean, everybody down the stretch is going to be playing probably two, three games a week. And, uh, again, the season ends the weekend of April 13th. And then we're going into playoffs afterwards. The playoff matchups aren't quite set yet. However, Port Huron has now clinched a spot in the Continental Division playoff uh, race, so one, two, and three are set. Mississippi, it's a matter of time really for the Seawolves to clinch that spot over Blue Ridge, and uh, the Bobcats are just going to run out of real estate as far as trying to catch them. It's a 16-point gap. And Blue Ridge has played 50 games, Mississippi only 46. So it would really take a, a miracle for Blue Ridge to somehow make the postseason at this point. So supposing those are your top four teams and that things stay the way they are, it would be Columbus, Mississippi in the first round and then Carolina, Port Huron. So that would be an interesting set of first round matchups. And then in the Empire Division, that one's even less settled. Motor City at 85 points, Danbury at 83 points. Both teams have played 51 games. Binghamton has the top spot locked up, so they're waiting to see whether they're going to play Elmira or Watertown. Watertown has two games in hand, and in fact, Binghamton, in a way, could kind of control who they play if they wanted Watertown, perhaps, you know, another Watertown win here in that matchup a little bit later on tonight. That could be a big one, but right now, Elmira, 50 games played, 54 points. 48 games played for Watertown, 51 points, so... One of those teams is not making the postseason, and it's a battle all the way down the stretch there. And Columbus trying to close things out here tonight and get just a little bit closer to claiming not only the Continental Division title, but hopefully eventually the FPHL crown as well so that they are assured of home ice all the way through the Commissioner's Cup playoffs. All right, before we get to the break, we're going to take a 10-second timeout along the network for station identification. Let's do that right now. Right now. You are listening to... Just the two of us, we can make it if we try. Just the two of us, 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 just the two of us,
Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys, who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Deer 2. For more information, go to Houston.com or call 706-324-6661. Back just in time to start period number two. Tied at one, the River Dragons and the Rockers here on a Sunday afternoon. Tonight's second period presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Columbus will push in quickly to start the period. It's feet in front, a shot, bab, and the save right on the doorstep on a redirect from Hunter. McDonald with a great feed into space. And Ryan Hunter trying to tip that one through the five hole, but Babin shuts it down. 10 seconds in, a great start to the period for Columbus. And Motor City quickly, all five skaters yanked off the ice. McDonald looking over his left shoulder, going to try to win it back towards Brody Duncan here. Tied up on the dot, and instead it's pulled away. Giuliano has done a very good job against McDonald in the faceoff circle. McDonald and Bersani very good in the circle for Columbus this season, and Giuliano's doing a nice job against J-Mac. Back the other way, here come the Rockers. Giuliano almost fought his way in through the D. Instead, Underwood able to move that puck away to center. Really had a pretty good stick battle there with Giuliano as he cut in. Good thing he won that one, otherwise would have been a great scoring chance. Now back in come the Rockers on the right side. Puck kicked into the corner. Giuliano tied up by Duncan behind the net. Goes off Underwood. Duncan up the far side. Bounce pass more to the left point. McGill Diaz holding it in. Around it comes to the near side. Hunter trying to leave it off. Puck in space and that ends up on the far side. Underwood will back up. 
will stop behind the net. River Dragons are going to cycle the lines. Petrantonio will come back for it. He goes by Underwood out the right side now. Feeds Petrantonio. Petrantonio cutting to his left. He'll dump it into the corner and it bounces off a stanch right in on goal. Babin had to make a save on a puck in front. They score! Petrantonio able to sweep it home. And the River Dragons take advantage of a fortuitous bounce off the glass to make it 2-1, just 129 into the second. Petrantonio second of the hockey game. And the captain has got 25 on the year. He tried to put the puck in off the left wing glass. Well, he did, but it hit a stanchion, and instead of going down the wall, it kicked right to the front of the net. Babin had to make a save on that puck, and now Motor City's going to be penalized here as Miguel Diaz is being put in the box. So Columbus perhaps going to the power play here, and it looks like they will. But as the puck went to the front of the net, Babin made the save, and then Motor City's D just a little slow to respond. And that allowed the River Dragons to put the puck in the net. Right now they're saying it's Jamea from Underwood, but I think Jamea from Underwood are going to pick up the assists on that goal. That should be Petrantonio's goal. And Columbus onto the loft power play. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two for one deal on cover. There's a chance in front Petrantonio, his shot is blocked. And that'll be played down the ice. So, gonna go ahead and right now write that one in is Underwood and Jamaif on the assists. But again, they are crediting the goal right now to Jamaif. River Dragons back in here on the right side. Tip in front by Doe. Just missed on the back post. Cleared out by the Rockers. Up the right side. Here's Delaney. Shorthanded chance off the goal post. Oh, Delaney rang it off the pipe stick side. Good quick release by TJ Delaney. And center here's King. He'll get it back on the right wing. Here's another chance. Puck bouncing it on goal. And that would have swept wide. Sneath ends up in the far corner with it. And a hooking call coming up against Columbus. Kyle Moore back to the box. So there goes the power play. So four on four for the next one minute, two seconds. Warren to the Abercrombie bonding penalty box where he will sit for two minutes for that hooking call. Columbus will win the faceoff back, but it's stolen behind the net by Svinsov. He's wrapped up by Anderson. And it's pushed out now by Shinkarik out of the pile. A lot of room out there with a four on four. Shinkarik will skate it ahead. He'll cut in all the way around the D and on goal to the back. Can Babin save? Rebound poke just wide by Jamaev. Carter Shinkarik had the wheels going on that one. Almost tucked it home. Here's a chance up the right side for Anderson. He's ridden off on the wall by King. Pushed the other way under the right wing side. Svinsaw moving in with a shot. He missed on the stick side as well. And that puck will clear itself. Right now, Columbus on the regroup back into its own end. By the way, the uh, penalty against McGill Diaz was unsportsmanlike conduct. Shinkarik waiting back there, and he's just going to wait it out here because now out of the box is McGill Diaz, and it is a power play for Motor City. Shinkarik runs into trouble, lost the puck in the slot, turned over down low, Lane King on it. Motor City quickly setting it up. Feeds into the near side, and that one taken away on the wall. Not out, though. Columbus still can't get the puck out as it hopped. 
And Columbus needs to get back defensively. It's an odd man down low. Puck tipped up top. And finally, Hunter's able to deflect it over the blue line. Hunter up the right side, trying to pull away and trapping him with a wrist shot. He sent it high. Boy, Columbus got very sloppy right there in its own end and got away with it. King will feed it across. Miguel Diaz on the left side. He tried to leave it off on the wall, but Underwood saw that one coming and clears it out. Nine seconds to go on the power play for the Rockers. Time ticking down here. Left side here, Steve pushing wide. He's got an angle cutting in front. Chopped off his stick, though, as he tried to walk across the goal mouth. Vanderweel on the left side. We're back to five on five as Duncan skips it off the glass and now race up the right side. But Moore had it hop over his stick and that put the play offside at the blue line. No oh, man, it's one of those days it looks like for Kyle Moore. Ooh. That offside brought to you by Old School Barbershop. Old School Barbershop is online at oldschoolbarbershop.com. If your sides are a little off, get lined up at Old School Barbershop. Book your next appointment online anytime. Plus, you can book online 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Reservations highly recommended. <laughs> Face-off push back down into the Columbus end. Slahetka will just toss it back to center. Slahetka after it. He'll leave it off in the far corner. Pop off. Up the right side boards. Krupp turning back ahead to Jemayev. Jemayev back for Krupp. Krupp ahead. He has Torjahan with him. Krupp and over the line. Into the left side. He's going to curl. Look for help. Feeds it up top. Pop off a wrister. Save Babin and no rebound. And that'll get us to our first timeout of the second period. River Dragons with a 2-1 lead. 5-16 into the frame. We're back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. For your dreams. Back here in the second period 2-1 Columbus River Dragons leading the Motor City Rockers 2-1 shots on goal 19 for Columbus 10 for Motor City second period brought to you by Wow Internet, proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with Wow for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Josh Petrantonio's got a pair here in this one. Offensive zone draw for Columbus. They feed it right up the slot. A backhand slot. Hedka right. Pad save Babin. Good find through the traffic. Here's Wickline near corner. Petrantonio trying to chop it back up top. It goes off quick line, skate to the slot, and now off his shin and out of the zone. Pop off, puts it in. It caroms off a stanchion right to Petrantonio, trying to move it across, and instead it's cleared out. Back on the right wing, here's Svensov into space. Delaney tips just wide. Rebound in front, it's steered aside by Lavalier. Columbus back three on three. At center, into space, cutting wide on the left wing. Pop off, has help going to the net. Wrist shot, tipped up over top. Wick line on the right side, into the corner. Looking for Doe in front if he can get free of his check. And he's knocked down behind the net. Back up the right side, here comes Conway. Conway leading it in, cutting wide, right wing, trying to curl in front, goes behind the net. Far side, Conway feeds it in front. Shot by Milam, hit traffic. Another chance that goes across the goal mouth. King couldn't get to it, and now odd man rush the other way. Columbus has numbers. Left side, Moore into the slot. McDonald to the backhand. His shot deflects behind the goal. Moore trying to shove it in front. Ends up in the corner. 
Around the wall, far side. It's fed ahead to Sneath. And now Sneath pushing up. Gets it back left side to King. King stops, waiting for help, but it's taken away by Anderson on the boards. He'll flip it up high in the air, and it comes down out at center. Pushed ahead, and now Hunter up on the right side, all the way into the Rockers' end. Scoots through a check near corner, cycles it around to the near wing as Shinkarik down low helping out. He moves it up top. There's a shot and a left pad saved by Babin on that blast from Duncan. Duncan again, Rister, and a glove save. Babin holds. It's opened up a little bit here in the last couple of shifts. Some offensive chances traded between the two teams, but it stays 2-1 River Dragons. Jemayev out there right now with Bersani and Storjahan. Duncan and Underwood on the points. Again, no Bockwill in today's game. Maintenance day for him. Played around to the left point. And it's moved out. Koash will dump it in, and Lavalier gloves it, and he's not going to play it. Too many white jerseys encroaching on the crease. And he'll take the face off instead. Coming up to his left. Here's Smith in for the draw. Brashani sends it over the near wall. Storja Han will leave it off behind the net. Flipped up high in the air and a bouncer down the ice past Colton. A couple of number fours go after the puck. Played up towards the left point. Not out. Brashani holding in. Past Storja Han. Colton sends it to the far side. Rotondi will lift the wedge out to center. Glove down there by Duncan. He'll push it back in off the glass. Colton will swing it far side. Rotondi looking up the left side. Off the dasher and back to the Columbus line where it's sent right back to the Motor City end. Jemayev got knocked down. Looking for a call there. Duncan, shoulder down by Smith. Puck turned the other way. Colton hustling back. Watched by Bersani. Out the far side. Sends it around the rim. Puck deflected away and now chased down. Brody Duncan into his own end. Motor City's going to change up the lines here. Columbus will probably do so relatively soon. 8-20 gone here in the second period. 2-1 your score. River Dragons in the lead. Tipped on left side. Vanderweel in front. There's a tip. What a stop in front of the rebound. Cleared away by Duncan. Another chance and that shot is blocked. Now the other way. Here come the River Dragons. Oh, just missing on the home run pass there for Wickline. As Bersani, I don't think, saw him in time. Boy, Wickline was in behind the D. Now here's a chance. Finsoff trying to cut in front, taken away there. And the puck goes the other way. And now here come the River Dragons again, trying to attack. Left side, Slahekin with a shot. Say Babin paddles the rebound out of the air to the corner. Petrantonio on it, back to his own end. Trying to move it up the left side, Doe. Doe moves in on the wing. Carries behind the net, out the far side. Doe into the high slot, wick line. Try to get rid of it, it's kicked down the ice. Lavalier has a rolling puck coming at him. He's going to try to steer it aside for Popoff, but Popoff on it. Centering attempt, there's a chance they score. Motor City ties it up at two. Little surprise, Lavalier didn't come out to play that puck away. Popoff was the only guy back. Everybody else for the River Dragons just did not get back in time. And it was basically a three-on-one down low, and the one was Popoff who was taken out of the play in the corner. The puck goes in front to Sneath. He puts it away to tie this game. So again, Lane King picks up his second assist of the afternoon. Sneath is 16th. Puck into the River Dragons end for an icing call here. Tell you what, Columbus just takes these little defensive naps. And Twice it's happened here in the game. Twice it's ended up at the back of the net. Oh, 
McDonald, Moore, Hunter back out up front. Anderson and Shinkarik, the defensive pair here. Draw to the right of Babbitt. One back, Milam will pull it behind the net, backhanded around the wall. But it's stolen back. Shinkarik all the way down for the point, loops behind the net. Tried to leave it for McDonald, who gave it right back to him. Shinkarik all the way up at the line, lost it out to center. Here's Moore curling just over the blue line, has help. In with a wrist shot, save made. Rebound there is handled by McGill Diaz. He goes behind the net with it, up the left side. Gets it away to center. Motor City to the attack. Here they come in on the wing, and Smith walked through. Paddled away by Lavalier to the corner. In the left wing circle, that one Gulo sends it behind the net. Colton down for the point, centering attempt, and that one, boy, that just missed the stick of Smith. River Dragons now skated to center. Anderson will flip it into the corner. Columbus is going to go for the change. Flipped out and down to the Columbus end of things. Anderson on it again, gets it across to Duncan. Brody Duncan with a pass ahead, and now here's Jay Krupp. Left side moving in with a wrist shot, tipped to the far corner. Bersani on it over there, trying to sweep it up the wall, but Motor City able to pick that one off. Duncan turning back with it again, his pass too far for Bersani. That allows Motor City to dump in from center. No icing as Duncan back. He plays it off the glass and down. Rotondi on it. He'll get it across to Colton. 840 to go in the second. We're now tied at two. Rockers in on the left side. Delaney to the front of the net. And that one has bounced away as Duncan took a dive and just punched it out. Storage Haunt, right side. Lead in over the line. Underwood up. Can't get to it. Now a shot by Krupp is blocked by the D in front. Rockers the other way. They'll fire it in wide of Lavalier. Slahetka back after it. He'll try the left side. Krupp, Krupp trying to break past the D. Tied up by Wells. Krupp leaving it into the slot area. Tipped away from Bersani. And now a three-on-one the other way. Here's Delaney left side cutting in. But River Dragons hustle back that time. And they're able to break up the play and turn that puck to center. Puck picked off at center by Krupp. He'll throw it in, head for the change. Austin Doe moving up on the four check. And he'll turn it over, Jemayev. Jemayev trying to move it back across, and it's Petrantonio with a big hit in the corner. Slaheka just took a stick to the face. No call on that one. Played around to the left point. Slaheka lets a shot go wide of the net. Now for the right point, Popoff can't keep it in, and now a breakaway pass on the left side. Here's Conway moving in behind the D, cutting in front, and he was caught from behind by Slahetko, who takes a penalty. They're going to call it slashing. I don't know how they missed the high stick on Slahetka previously, but instead it goes back down the ice, and the power play's going the other way when we come back. Game tied at 2, 7-16 to go here in the second. Back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. River Dragon shorthanded with 7.16 to go in the second. As Slahetka into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Slashing is the call. 12.44 time of the penalty. Game tied at two, despite the shots being 25 for Columbus, 11 for the Rockers. But Columbus, a couple of miscues in its own end. And of course, they end up in the back of the net. 
Face off to the right of Lavalier. And the Rockers control off the faceoff. Milam up top to Miguel Diaz. Shot gets through now. Chance Vince off of the shot. That's blocked. Nice job by Shinkarik to get in the way. He'll try the far side up the rim. Kept in at the left point. Shinkarik on it again, however, does push it to center. Now Jamaev will push up one on one. Jamaev trying to cut in front and have that knocked away. Left side, spins off, bouncing through a check, centering feed. Here's Delaney on the back door, and I don't think he ever got that shot away. Puck ends up at the left point. Miguel Diaz down the wall. In the corner, feeds it into the skates of Delaney to the slot. Svinsoff challenged, and turnover forced. Petrantonio will throw it down the ice. Babbitt out to plant while both teams change it up. 1-12 to go in the power play for the Rockers. 2-2 tie, 6-24 and counting to go in the second. Vanderweel left side. King tying it up, feeding to the left point. Coash across, Colton doesn't shoot. Curls back up top. Feeds it over, and it bounces out over the line. Motor City trying to quickly regroup here. Coash on the right wing, looking for Vanderweel. In space. Puck tied up, fed to the right point, Colton. Leaving it off near side, Sneath. Wrist shot, save made, Lavalier, and he'll hold on. Takes that one right in the chest protector with 34 seconds to go on the power play. Columbus is going to put out Shin Carrick along with Hunter, Moore, and Anderson. Giuliano went across from Hunter for the draw. Pushed ahead, and Columbus looking to move it out. Can't, Anderson can't move it out of there. McGill Diaz in the slot, still with it, cutting to his left with a wrist shot. Same puck is loose in the crease, and finally it's under the pads of Lavalier as he slaps the pillows together. Big battle in the crease. Good job by Columbus to box out as much as they possibly could there. Gave Lavalier that extra second to find the puck. But boy, that was close. A couple of chances for the River Dragons to move that puck out. And again, they fail to do so. Sometimes they want to skate it out, maybe generate a chance, but it doesn't always work that way. 20 seconds left to go on the man advantage here for Columbus, or pardon me, the man advantage for the Rockers. River Dragons on the kill. Moore will send it down the ice. Lesson learned. Hunter all the way up, forcing Bavin to play it away on the near side. Now Hunter steals it back. Five seconds to go on the man advantage. Hunter over to the far side. Shakirik walks in with a shot, and Bavin got a piece of the blocker and deflects it out of play just as Laheka returns to the ice. So Columbus gets through a big penalty kill right there. And now they're going to have an offensive zone draw here with a chance to get it going again. McDonald, Hunter, and Moore out up front. Slahetka and Popoff, the defensive unit. Donald winning it back towards the point, but by the time Popoff stepped up, Koash took it away and moved ahead. Koash left side, curls, waits, looking for help. On the left side, there's a chance for the off angle. Save Lavalier right on the goal line, and hangs on to that one. McDonald in for the faceoff again to the right of the River Dragons net. Columbus pushing it ahead, and here's Moore moving up. He's got Hunter with him. Moore trying to step around the D, and the play is offside at the line, so Columbus must tag up. Somebody blew a whistle in there, apparently, although I don't know why. But play stops, and we're going to the break. 4.54 to go in the second period. Tied at two, River Dragons and Rockers. Back with more in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. 
Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. 4.54 left to go in the second period, which is presented by WOW Internet, proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 a month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! And you can save big right now at River City Swing Sets, your local Gorilla Playsets authorized showroom, offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons. Face off coming up outside the Rockers line. McDonald, Moore, Hunter out there. McDonald pushes it ahead. And that one will be sent back out to center here. Finds Coash. He gets it ahead, Smith, but Smith had it knocked away at the blue line. It'll be tossed back in by Gulo. That gives Duncan a moment on the regroup. Duncan will flip it ahead on the left wing side. Hunter tied up. McDonald tried to step forward with it. Hit Colton. Comes back to Duncan. Right side, he'll try more. Moore in over the line. Poked away from him. McDonald. Moore on the right side. Moore into the slot. McDonald off his skate. Quick shot. Set it high. Down for the left point. Duncan will pinch and keep it in. Brody Duncan down low, far side, fed up into the slot, right side, more with a shot, and the glove, same Pavin. 4.13 to go in the second, tied at two. Well, any win streak of three or more this year is brought to you by Tim Hortons, and if you join Tim's Rewards today, you'll get any flavor medium cold drink in your first week when you sign up. Visit TimHortons.com or download the app in your app store. Face off to the left of Babin. Bersani, Wickline, Storjahan up front. And the puck rolled right through the crease off that face off. Out the other side. Wells played across, around on the right wing, and Shakarik tripped down as he kept the puck in from the right point. Storjahan in the near side corner. That up top, Anderson. Moving it over, Shinkarik, right side, his shot, and that one passed the glove of Babin all the way around the glass and out of the zone. Bersani is a little slow getting off the ice, and he's hurt. Hunter Bersani real slow getting to the bench. Penalty coming up. Interference will be the call. And that's going to be against Motor City. Vanderweel. Into the box for interference, and Bersani down the tunnel to get looked at by the trainers. River Dragons back onto the loft power play, 16-19 time of the penalty. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for a two-for-one deal on cover. That's only at the loft in downtown Columbus. Petrantonio falling as he tried to get to that puck. He had a wide open net for just a moment. Couldn't quite get to it. River Dragons one for one in the power play here as it's cleared down the ice. And now Lavalier has to come out to play it away. Columbus looking to move it ahead. Pardon me. Columbus one for two on the power play. This is chance number three. 
River Dragons with the puck in behind the Rockers' net, but out of the pile with it comes Milam. Milam looking for a place to go with it. Backhands it to the point, but not out. Petrantonio holding it in left side to McDonald. Petrantonio. To McDonald. McDonald. High slot. Doe near dot. Doe doesn't shoot. Back for McDonald, but the pass put it out of the zone. But they had Lane King without a stick there, too. And he is able to get off Storjahan. Cross his feet. Quick shot. What a stop by Babin coming to his left on McDonald. Great stop by the Rockers netminder there. Here's Wickline, far side. Chips it down low. McDonald in front looking for the jam play, and it's swept out. Motor City. Will change up the penalty kill, and Columbus change up the power play unit as well as Wickline steps in. He'll flip it to the right side, too far for Jemayev into the corner. Jemayev curls, try to feed back to the point. Shinkarik quickly over to the left side, Slahetka. Slahetka into the slot at one time, that's deflected wide. Ends up with Ryan Hunter. Right side to the right point, Shinkarik. Shinkarik pressured, feeds Slahetka. He's got room, walks it into the dot, wrist shot, off a leg and wide. Hunter behind the net, seven seconds to go on the power play, puck tied up. And that one is fed out and down the ice. That'll do it. Power play's over. River Dragons one for three. Hunter at the blue line. Couldn't step in with it. Chimea following up the play, but it's offside as Wickline could not get back in time. 133 to go here in the second. Tied at two between the River Dragons and the Rockers. Face off will be in front of the River Dragons bench. Just outside the Motor City line. Petrantonio, Krupp, and Storjahan out there together right now as the line's a little jumbled after the power play situation. Rockers able to win that faceoff back. And they will control Colton. To the left side, Rotondi banks it ahead. Turn right back by Columbus. Storjahan up after it. Puck on the far side. Gulo to the line, not out. There's a shot tipped wide of the net off of Krupp. Storjahan behind the goal. And he feeds to the slot right to Koyash. Now backhand by Krupp and a glove save by Babin. He'll hold on. Both teams are going to switch up the lines here. Hunter, Moore, McDonald right back out there along with Shinkirik and Anderson. McDonald wins that draw cleanly back to left point to Anderson. His shot coming in tipped in front by McDonald. Goes out of play. Face off stays inside. Just under a minute to go now in the second. McDonald trying to push it ahead this time. Puck in the slot. Here's Moore fanned on it. Moore had to reach back for it. Keeps it in, though. Hunter tried to get it back to Moore, but turned it over. And now the Rockers the other way to center, but Moore stole it back. Tried to get it ahead. That one would have put the play offside. McDonald tags up. He'll head in on Rotondi. 38 seconds to go in the period. Colton, right side. His pass was that tipped. They say no icing, so Shinkarik has to hustle back for it. He'll backhand it around to Anderson. Anderson up the near side. Anderson to Hunter. Hunter, Moore on to McDonald. Cuts through the D and on goal. Blocker save, Babin. Rebound not out of danger yet. Bouncing at the side of the net. River Dragons on it, fed to the slot. McDonald, quick shot with traffic. Deflects wide, 10 seconds. Fed right back to the near post. Rolling puck. Hunter, turnaround shot. Babin hit him in the shoulder. He never saw it. There's a chance in front again. Babin save with a pad down. And the horn sounds. Ryan Hunter had everybody, including Babin, thinking he was going to throw that puck back to the middle. Instead, he spun the other way and shot it. He probably had the entire quarter of the net at the near post open, but he managed to hit Babin in the shoulder with the shot. Well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and I think that Trevor Babin can... 
thank the goalie gods right there for helping them out with that one, but keeps it tied at two. 40 minutes in the books. The River Dragons and the Rockers. This one's up for grabs right now. This is absolutely anybody's hockey game. 40 minutes into it. And uh, more questions than answers, I think, at this point. So we're going to take a break. It's time to chuck some pucks here in the arena. We're going to do that. But if you're listening or watching, odds are you're probably not chucking a puck. So you know what? If you want to grab a sandwich, feel free. We'll be back in just a couple of moments. We'll wrap up the scoring from that second period for you. Plus, take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. All that and more coming your way in just a moment. Two periods in. We're tied at two on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Back here on River Dragons Hockey, Tom Callahan here with you, and we are 40 minutes into it. And the second period intermission report brought to you by Shred Away 2 2 tie on our hands. and. Well, right now, the River Dragons. It's uh, It's been an interesting Sunday afternoon game here, and both of these teams have been, you know, making their share of mistakes and, well, quite frankly, keeping it interesting because of that. And Columbus did strike first early in the second, just 129 in. Josh Petrantonio, second of the game, is 25th of the year from Underwood and Jemayev. And that put the River Dragons back out in front. Then at 928... A rolling puck down the ice that, uh, and I'm not sure if it was miscommunication. Jordan Popoff hasn't played a whole lot here down the stretch. Uh, William Lavalier has not played a whole lot here down the stretch. But for whatever reason, Popoff, who had a four-checker draped on him, uh, and Lavalier just might have thought Lavalier come out and play the puck. He didn't. 
It continued to roll in, and, and it was rolling on edge, which sometimes, okay, I understand if you're a goalie, that might make you a little paranoid. Uh, but Popoff ends up tied up in the corner, and it really created what amounted to a three-on-one down low, and one-on-one on, one on one of that was Popoff tied up in the corner by Vanderweel, which then really results in a 2 on o in front of the net. Sneath scores his 16th from Vanderweel and King at 928. And that's where we are right now with this game tied up at two. And uh, honestly, you look at the goals that have gone in against the River Dragons here, and they've just been Columbus mistakes. Uh, and that's something the team's going to want to continue to work on and clean up as they get a little bit closer to the postseason here. Uh, just some of it, a little bit of a communication error. The one in the first period was uh, an expected icing call that didn't happen. They let up right, uh, right before the whistle would have gone. And Whistle never did go. Hey, Motor City plays to the whistle. They get the goal. And so that's kind of the way things have gone here on this Sunday afternoon for Columbus. Now, mind you, it helps that the captain is on a little bit of a heater. And, yes, if you're just joining us, Justin McDonald did pick up an assist on that first period goal for Petrantonio, a power play marker. And now the streak is at 37 games and counting. And Justin McDonald just having an incredible season here for the Columbus River Dragons. Shots on goal in the period, 15-6 in favor of Columbus. And power play chances. River Dragons were 0-2 for 2 in that period, 0-2 for 2 as well for the Rockers. River Dragons 1-3 for 3 in the game. Rockers 0-3 for 3 on the man advantage so far. We'll take a break here in the Shredaway second period intermission report. And when we come back, we'll take a look at that Zelmo Zip in out-of-town scoreboard. If you got your bracket handy, I'll update you on the NCAA men's college basketball tournament as well as NHL and FPHL. What's going on there? And we're also going to take another look at the standings. So stay tuned. There's more coming your way here in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I Spice? Wait. Who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be OK. <laughs> or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> my dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win a Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victoryland Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victoryland Casino, located off I-85, exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Back here in the Shredaway second period intermission report. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining us here as we take a look at our Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard. 2 2 is our score here between the River Dragons and the Rockers so far. 
The only other game of the FPHL tonight. That one actually doesn't start until 7 o'clock, although the way this one's creeping right along, we might deliver you right to the doorstep of that puck drop. Watertown hosting Binghamton tonight. And then in the Sunday afternoon column in the NHL's scores, we've got a couple of finals from earlier today. Capitals 3-0 over the Winnipeg Jets. And the Avalanche came from behind to force overtime and then beat the Penguins 5-4 in OT, so uh, that one, pretty big comeback there for the Avs, who, boy, at this point, they're having a season where the superstars are being the superstars, and today's game, no exception, just absolutely incredible to see, although Sidney Crosby did net his 34th of the season. Nathan McKinnon, his 44th. Jonathan Drouin had a pair, including his 14th, and how about this? Kel McCarr picks up his 60th assist of the season. McKinnon's already into the 70s. He's got the other assist on that game-winning goal. I mean, those guys are just absolutely on fire this year. Right now in the first period intermission, the Devils and the Islanders are scoreless through 20 minutes. We've got a couple of 6 o'clock puck drops coming up with the Leafs at the Hurricanes, the Oilers at the Senators, the Panthers are at the Flyers. 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight, Stars are at Coyotes. 8.30, Lightning at Ducks. And then a pair of 9 o'clock starts. The Sabres are at the Flames. And the Canadians visit the Seattle Kraken. Men's college basketball scores for you. Let's update you on what's going on here. March Madness Sunday. couple finals from earlier today. Number 2, Marquette beats number 10, Colorado, 81-77. Number 1, Purdue tops number 8, Utah State, 106-67. Right now, one game going on. And with about eight and a half to go in the first half, number four, Duke, leads number 12, James Madison, 26-13. And we have a couple more games on the docket later today at 6.10 p.m. You have number six, Clemson, and number three, Baylor. At 7.10, number 12, Grand Canyon, takes on number four, Alabama. At 7.45 p.m., number nine, Northwestern, at number one, UConn. At 8.40 p.m., number nine, Texas A&M, and number one, Houston. At 9.40, number 13, Yale, and number five, San Diego State. And that rounds out your men's college hoops schedule for the remainder of the day. Here are the River Dragons tied up with the Motor City Rockers. 2-2 is your score. Columbus leading the Continental Division, have not clinched the Continental yet. And the Empire Binghamton has clinched the division. The River Dragons at 116 points. And Carolina at 103. So the River Dragons about nine points away from locking out Carolina. Three regulation wins, if you will. And locking up the Continental Division. On the other hand, Motor City is in a big battle for its playoff seating. Motor City's clinched a playoff spot. As has Danbury. But Danbury, same number of games played, is two points behind Motor City. So today's game is crucial for the Rockers as it's one of the games that they have remaining and they only have five left. And for Motor City to be able to get that home ice against Danbury, which can make a huge difference. I tell you what, I think Danbury has one of the best home ice advantages in the FPHL. And that could swing a series if the Rockers have the home ice over Danbury. And that's something very real that the Rockers and the Hattricks are going to fight for. And then in the Empire Division, also not settled yet, who's going to be the last team into the playoffs because Elmira has played 50 games. They're at 54 points. Watertown's played 48 games. They're at 51 points. If Watertown wins their games in hand, including tonight against Binghamton, and before you say, well, it's Binghamton, hey, Watertown beat Binghamton last night. No reason they can't do it again here tonight. But again, if Watertown does take care of business with the games that they have in hand, they'll leapfrog Elmira into that final playoff spot in the Empire Division. And right now, if Watertown does get in, they've got to feel pretty good just having upended Binghamton last night. They can make it a series. And it's only a best of three series in the first round of the FPHL. So that means you can run into a hot goaltender. You can run into someone who is just, you know, you got a, a hot line combined with a goaltender that seems to be stopping everything, and all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you're going home early. And that is absolutely something everybody wants to avoid. You want to be playing your best hockey heading into the postseason. And the River Dragons 
down the stretch here. Just want to wrap up the Continental and the FPHL if they can. Count it on down and just continue to collect the points. Here it's anybody's game this afternoon. 2-2 two -two after two. Rockers and the River Dragons both with a chance to come out with three. Maybe we see a little extra hockey here this afternoon. Who knows? The only way we're going to find out is to play that third period. And we're going to do that. Coming up next on the other side of this break, this has been your Shredaway second period intermission report. Back with third period action on the other side on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. You're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. back here in Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you about to start the third period. Before we do that, we're going to take a quick break. Ten seconds along the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. River Dragons returning to the ice as are the Motor City Rockers. Third period action coming up here at the Columbus Civic Center. Final game of this three-game set here on the weekend. River Dragons took the first two Friday and Saturday night. Columbus's five-game win streak on the line here. Five on five, we will start period number three. And it truly is anybody's hockey game at this point. Feel like this game has been up for grabs the entire time here. Columbus has made a couple of mistakes that have ended up in the back of the net. We'd like to see them minimize those mistakes. 
I'm sure the talk of the Rockers bench is much the same. Hey, let's minimize the mistakes, minimize the turnovers, capitalize on the chances we get. There's not a lot of mystery to it. River Dragons saying the same thing. Hey, let's uh, let's minimize those turnovers and mistakes and let's capitalize on our chances. But 20 minutes to settle it here. Either team can skate out with three points in regulation. Columbus struck very quickly to open the second period. Are they going to do it again here in the third? Well, we're going to find out in just a moment as we get ready for the puck drop. McDonald, Moore, and Hunter to start the period for Columbus. Justin McDonald has an assist in this game. The scoring streak extended to 37 games with a point. Face off at center is controlled by Motor City. They'll put one right in on goal. Lavalier catches and holds just seven seconds into the period. Motor City pushing that face off ahead. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected. And it's one back by Motor City. Koash swings it around behind the net. Brody Duncan there first. He'll move it to Moore. Moore's pass ahead is deflected, ends up on the right wing side. McDonald throws a backhand right into the shin pads there of Koash, and it's moved back to center. Underwood up towards Duncan. Hunter right back to Duncan. And back to Hunter. He's in over the line. Right side, there's Moore. He's got room, and McDonald in front. Tip! And a save by Babin in front of McDonald. Puck bounce back down the ice, a roller, no icing here. Lavalier is going to leave it there for Underwood. Both teams changing here. 40 seconds into the frame. McDonald in his skates, able to get it ahead on the right side. Pushing up on the wing, Ryan Hunter in the right side corner. Has Petrantonio in front, backdoor feed. McDonald couldn't get to it. Anderson down to the left point, throws it in front. Say Babbitt, oh, the puck was between his pads. He didn't know it. And when he moved his legs, it squirted forward. Columbus has to tag up and get out of the zone. And McGill Diaz will carry it up the left side. He'll swing that one around. On to the right wing. Svinsov to the point. Milam with a drive and a blocker save there by Lavalier. Columbus attacking. Jameyev leading the charge. In on the wing. Left side to Doe. Quick wrister. Blocker save. Rebound sitting in the slot. Picked up by Giuliano. He'll fire that one right down on Lavalier who will trap it against the body and hang on. 133 into the third. Couple of good scoring opportunities for both teams here. Rockers win the faceoff. They'll control. There's a shot by Colton that was blocked. Petrantonio the other way, and now ahead come the River Dragons on the right side. Here's Doe. Doe looking in front. His wrister is blocked by the defender, Rotondi, and he clears it right back out of the zone. Columbus, once again in its own end. That puck hit the ref. Came back down to Anderson. He plays it ahead. Shinkarik tried to play it off the heel of a skate. Could not. Rotondi will lead to center. Here's King. King on the left side. He'll flip it behind the net. Slahetka up with the puck. Pass for Petrantonio. Deflected behind him. Columbus starts to change his Vanderweel in on the left wing. He's bumped off by Bersani. Good to see Hunter Bersani back out there. As he left the ice with about four minutes to go in the second period, followed by the trainers, but he's back out there now. Wells on to the right side. Rockers trying to move it ahead. Wedged high in the air. At center comes down right at the line. It was behind Smith. He didn't see it. Quick line. Turning back ahead to Bersani. Bersani in the right wing. Tried to step around Vanderweel. Lost it. Smith back the other way. Dumped into the left side corner. Gulo going in. Try to pick that one up. Pop off. Shouldered him off the puck. Bersani with the lead at center. That drifts back into the Rockers end. Again, both teams to the change. 
3.15 gone here in the third time at two. Vanderweel at center ran into Kyle Moore, lost the puck. Underwood has to send it to an open wing. Puck not out of danger, though. Underwood had to hustle all the way over after it to the near side. Now turned over is a chance in front to Laney off a skate, and it ends up with Moore, but still not out. Now it's cleared out. McDonald ahead. He'll wedge it into the right side corner. Bavin steers it aside. Hunter behind the net, too far for McDonald. McDonald catching up to it on the far wall. He'll stop, try to force it across, pass deflected, still not out. And Svinsoff sending it back to the D. Now it's moved ahead. Here's a chance on the right side. Delaney in. Curls waiting for help. Duncan took it away. Duncan, right side lead. More stretching. Can't get to it. It comes right in towards Babin. who leaves it there for McGill Diaz. Back ends up the left side. Not out. Kept in. Duncan swings it to the left wing corner. Moore behind the net. McDonald. Right side on the half wall, feeds it towards the point, tips and kept in there, long shot in wide of the net. McDonald right up the slot, Hunter, his shot saved, Babin rebound is loose and cleared away. Svintsov up by himself now on the left wing, tried to go through the skates and Duncan poked it away to the corner. Chipped up the boards, not out. Kept in on the left wing side, Milam down for the left point. Curls looks up top, feeds Sneath his drive and that one missed the net. Around to the right point, Colton holding it in. His wrister ends up in the near corner. River Dragons in trouble in front of their own net. Jamaev skates it away. Loops behind the goal, and now Alexander Jamaev with a head of steam coming up the ice has Doe with him. Jamaev on the right side, on the backhand, behind the net, still with it, far corner. Jamaev, left point, shot coming in. Say Babin, rebound in front. And Anderson crashing the crease, couldn't get it to go. Cleared out by the Rockers. 5-13 gone here in the third period, 2-2 tie. Columbus definitely coming out looking for the go-ahead. Here's Petrantonio in with a wrist shot, missed. Bersani in the left wing corner, Petrantonio into the slot. Shinkarik off the tip of the mid of Babin, stretching out to his right. Now the Rockers try to come back the other way. Thrown in from center. Anderson after it. Shinkarik has to let it go as he's bumped off. Petrantonio moving it up the boards. Bersani had to drift back in over the line. He was knocked down. Petrantonio trying to help him out. He'll send it deep. Smith putting Petrantonio into the boards, and boy, he didn't like that one. Had a good long look at Smith. Vanderweel. In behind his own net, Krupp, Storjahan, Bersani out there right now. Giuliano left side, got it back across. Here's a move in and a shot fought off by the blocker and held by Lavalier. Lavalier knocking it down and hanging on to get us to the break. 6-16 into the third period, tied it to River Dragons and the Rockers. Third period action brought to you by Kinetic Credit, Credit Union. More coming your way in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do com. 6-16 gone here in the third period. This game is tied up at two. Josh Petrantonio's got a pair for the River Dragons in this one. Conway and Sneath for the Rockers. Columbus trying to creep a little closer to clinching the Continental Division. And eventually the FPHL title here in the closing weeks of the regular season. 
after tonight. The next Columbus home game will be April 5th and 6th. That is Legends Weekend. And we are hoping you can join us for that. Boy, if you like the Legends game, it's always good to see the Columbus Cottonmouths Legends out there. They play along with some River Dragons alumni as well. It's an absolute blast. It's good to see the uh, heroes of the game from Columbus Hockey out there. Now there's a puck in front. Sneath tips it home. The Rockers score, and they take the lead once again. It's 3-2. Sneath has his second of the game right off the faceoff. 6.23, time of the goal. And the Rockers back in front. The assists going to King and Vanderweel. How about Lane King? Three assists in this game. Puck right in on goal and the save made by Lavalier. River Dragons now find themselves trailing again here. Right side here's Jay Krupp moving in. His wrist shot and that one hit Vanderweel. And oof. That crumpled him. Right point, Underwood sends it for the bank. Bersani wheeled it right in front, but Hunter arriving a little late there. Couldn't get to it in time. Dumped down to Weising here. Lavalier will leave it. Underwood on to the left side, looking to put that puck ahead. And here comes McDonald. In on the line, try to leave it for Krupp. Krupp turning back for it, couldn't keep it in. Milam the other way, up the right side, fakes a shot, carries it wide, sends around the rim. McDonald will backhand it down the ice. That'll go for icing. So Columbus, Krupp, Hunter, McDonald, along with Shinkarik and Anderson out there. 7.29 into the third period. Rockers three, River Dragons two. T.J. Sneath has two goals in this one, including the go-ahead goal just moments ago. Being self is one back. Columbus will clear it around to the left point, but not out. That one's sent ahead now. Krupp through center. Works in on the left wing side. Krupp in with a wrist shot. Did not get through. Hit the defender. Sent back the other way. Anderson after the loose puck. Left off at the line. Still not out. Here's a chance. Fintzaw behind the net. Wrapped it around in front. Nobody there for it. Delaney on the right wing on the puck. Quick wrister. Waved at by the blocker of Lavalier as it goes wide. McGill Diaz keeps it in at the line. Columbus has to clear it down. Past McGill Diaz. No icing here. Moore steps up. He'll chase McGill Diaz out from behind the net. And now McDonald on him, but McGill Diaz wiggles out of trouble. His pass tipped down to Weising going the other way. Anderson after it. Banks it ahead, and that one goes all the way back down. And Babin has to play it. Columbus will change it up as well. Eight and a half gone in the third. 3-2 Motor City. Slahetka back. Icing. The teams are just kind of stretching back and forth with those long passes and had a couple of tips to negate some icings, but finally we get one called here. Goes back into the Motor City end. It's Petrantonio out with Jamea Fendo. Duncan and Underwood on the points. Face off to the right of the Rockers net. One back off the draw, but Petrantonio shot blocked. May have tried to force it in front. Puck ends up in the near corner, and King will wheel it away. King stops, feeds it ahead. Rockers attack. On the left side, Sneath with a backhand, missed the net. Around to the right point, Conway keeps it in. And now it'll be fed ahead, Petrantonio looking. Ahead with a little flip into space. Jamaev cutting wide on the Diaz. Doe on the left side, trying to give it to him. Has to feed it around behind the net instead as Jamaev takes the bump. Petrantonio lets it go to the point. Underwood over the left side. Duncan walks around a block attempt. Duncan sends it behind the net. Doe back out the far side. On the backhand, Doe curling up top. Left point, Duncan, his wrister. Save Babin. 
Doe down for the right point. Went off his body. Underwood able to keep it in. Quick shot. Missed the net. Onto the left side. Here's Wick line out there on the change. He'll feed to the left point. There's a shot coming in by Bersani. Save. Oh, just wide on the rebound. As it's cleared up the near side boards and out to center. Columbus trying to get the pressure back on here. Bersani with a nice little reverse check there on Conway. And then he dumps the puck in. Rockers forced out the near side. Columbus forecheck picking it up here. We've reached the halfway point of this third period. 3-2 Rockers in the lead. Vanderweel coming back up the left side. Into the corner, he centers. Puck free in the slot, ends up with Bersani. And now, River Dragons pushing left side. Storjahan in over the line, leaving it into the slot. Poked over the near side to Wickline. Wickline, centering attempt. That's blocked by Vanderweel. Well, Columbus finally finding the gas pedal a little bit here in this one, but it hasn't quite come together yet. Vanderweel on the right side, carrying into the Columbus end. He'll center, chance in front, goes out the crease. And to the other side. River Dragons ahead, and now Shinkarik pushing up. Shinkarik into the right side, in with a shot, glove, save Babin. Trevor Babin with a big stop to keep it 3 2 Rockers. 9 19 to go in this third period, presented by Kinetic Credit Union. Back with more in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Football time! Set the tone! Kyle, tie your shoes, tie your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Cherry and get wild. Back here on River Dragons Hockey, 919 left to go into third period. Rockers three, River Dragons two. Say big at River City Swing Sets, your local gorilla play sets authorized showroom. Offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons! Columbus wins the draw in the Motor City end, and we're back underway. McDonald centering feed up in the air. McDonald, or pardon me, Moore took a swat at it, couldn't knock it out of the air. And now the Rockers dump it back down the other way. Lively kick comes right in the slot, in Delaney a chance, save made, and the rebound just wide of the post. Back the other way, here's Moore diving to get it ahead. McDonald in, has Hunter in front. McDonald stops, delays, waits, and his pass was deflected as it's cleared just off the top of the glass and out. Oh my goodness, that was inches from a delay of game call, but the Rockers get the bounce. McDonald in on the right side. Curls back up the wall. Here's Moore, puts it on net, Babin the save. Moore after the rebound to the right side corner. Down to the right point, kept in Slaheka. Moore back door, and the shovel shot by McDonald. Puck on end, and it did not find the cage. Here's Moore in front, his shot, Babin save. Looking behind him, but he's got it in between the pads. Oh boy, Trevor Babin looking behind him, but he had it. That is the uh, heart skips a beat moment for any goaltender. 3-2, Rockers in the lead over the River Dragons. 8.23 to go in the third. Doe, Jemayev, and Petrantonio out there. Petrantonio on it, left side, fed it right in front. Doe couldn't get his stick to it, though, as he was tied up. Uh, Doe knocked down to the near wall. Jemayev trying to help out. Puck ends up out at center. Sneep the other way. He'll feed it across. There's a shot. That would whip wide on the blocker side all the way back down the ice. Rotondi feeds it to center. King will tip it on to the left side. 
Sneath with a backhand wide of the net. Onto the right side, his feet in front, and that one saved Lavalier. Petrantonio up to Doe. Doe's up by himself, one on four. Goes into the left side corner after it. Columbus changing in behind the play here. Bersani trying to keep it in off the body. Cannot puck rolls all the way down the ice and wide. That'll be an icing call. 7.35 to go here in the third, 3-2. Rockers in the lead, River Dragons. With Bersani, Storjahan, and Wickline out there. And now it's Shinkarik out there with Underwood. I imagine Shinkarik's gonna have even more of a green light than usual to really try to press the attack. Face off one, however, by Motor City, but the puck right in on goal. Babbitt had to make a save, and the puck ends up behind the net. Underwood left side. Swings it around behind the goal. Storjahan chasing to the near side. Feeds the right point. Shinkarik over to Underwood. His quick chance is blocked in front off the skate of Sneath. Conway tied up left side. Underwood pushing down to the left point. He's knocked down with a high hit. And Underwood. Oh boy, he's going to head off the ice after that one. Boy, that was a real high hit by Rotondi. And Shinkarik making sure Underwood makes it over to the bench there. Jay Krupp over to the referee's crease to lobby. Now the question is, how many minutes? Time of the penalty, 12.50. And what kind of penalty is it? Is it a high stick? Is it an elbow? We'll see here. Petrantonio is now moved in to the uh, referee's crease to have the discussion. Two minute on the minor. Columbus on to the Loft power play for the fourth time tonight where they're one for three. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two for one deal on cover. Only at the Loft in downtown Columbus, a proud partner of River Dragons hockey. It's an interference call. Columbus will start with possession here. Off the face off, it's clear to the line, but not out. Doe ends up with it on the right side. He'll move it across McDonald, a shot, Babbin save, and there's no rebound. A little bit of a gathering in front of the crease after the whistle, but not much to come out of that. More Petrantonio, Storjahan, McDonald, and Doe. Petrantonio in for the faceoff. Wins it back to McDonald at the right point. He'll get it back up top after feeding it low. McDonald will work down the right side now himself, creating a little space. Into the slot more, back to McDonald, up top to Doe. Doe looking far side, Petrantonio top of the circle. Into slit space, Moore with a tip, saved made by Babb, and a rebound is cleared out. Six and a half to go in the third. 120 to go in the man advantage. Petrantonio carries it in. He'll loop around behind the net, feed it up top, a shot, Babb, and save on McDonald. Point blank, rebound hits a stanchion. Petrantonio has to carry it out to center. Giuliano all over him, wrapping him up. Columbus ahead now into space. Storjahan trying to get to the puck. McDonald ends up with it. Walks in towards the goal. Feeds it over. Oh, shot. They score. Josh Petrantonio's got the hat trick. Power play goal. This game is tied at three. McDonald with a great look to find Petrantonio coming in from the left point. And he lets it go from the far hash marks. Power play goal, 
And Columbus ties it up. A huge power play marker. But now, plenty of hockey left to go in this one. Puck in on Lavalier, he'll cover. Off coming up to the left of Lavalier. Rockers, Vanderwill keeping it in at the point, but now it's pushed down by Wickline and a break left side. Bersani moving in, his shot fought up by Bab and rebound swatted away in front of the net. Bersani had to shoot quickly because he had a defender tracking him back. And now Vanderwill moves it out to center. Koash chipping it ahead, wanted Smith, couldn't find him with the puck. Boy, body spilling everywhere right now. Guys running into each other all over the place. Puck bounce back into the Columbus end. Bersani had a rough end to the shift there as he heads off. Shankarik will chip it ahead. Wanda Wickline couldn't get it to him. Deflected back the other way. Well, that could have been an icing call, but they wave it off. Anderson on the near side here. Up the boards ahead, and McDonald right back out there with his line. In over the blue line, far side, and the pass just hopped over the stick of Ryan Hunter. Deflected back the other way by Motor City, cleared off the glass right through to center. Columbus pushing up on the wing. Hunter had it knocked away by Milam. Tied at three, 447 and counting to go into third. Turned over to McDonald now. McDonald looking to center, but right to Babin, who holds at the right post. Well, this game is tied up with 4.41 left to go in regulation time. It's anybody's hockey game right now. Come on back for the exciting conclusion of River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Cherry and get wild. 4.41 to go in the third, game tied at three. River Dragons are out shooting the Rockers, 46 to 22. Face off to the right of Trevor Babbitt. McDonald, Moore, Hunter out up front for Columbus. Shankarik and Underwood on the points. McDonald trying to push ahead as a face off one back by the Rockers. A big three points up for grabs here. On this Sunday afternoon, puck right in on goal, and Lavalier is going to hold. McDonald with a quick conversation with his line mates here. Before he steps in for the faceoff across from Giuliano, who again has done a nice job against McDonald today. This time McDonald wins it. Anderson around to Duncan. Duncan off the glass to the line and out. Hunter trying to fight for it. Couldn't get it. Delaney will throw it right back into the zone. Scooped up and again Lavalier will hold for a faceoff. Boy, at this point you can see both teams, neither one wants to be the one that makes the mistake. Jamaev, Doe, Petrantonio out with a face off to the left of Lavalier. 
Jemaev in for the draw. It's one back by Sneath. Pushed over to the far boards. Doe tied up. Jemaev trying to help him out. But well, kept in at the line. That shot is blocked and chipped out up the right wing. Vanderweel back at his own end, trying to leave it off. Petrantonio forcing Conway back. And now it's turned over in front. Here's Petrantonio with a chance. Oh, and he was backing up and fanned on the shot. It was turned over right in the low slot to Petrantonio, but his momentum was carrying him backwards, and he couldn't collect the puck back into a shooting position. There's a stretch on the right side. Petrantonio trying to thread it through. It comes back to him on the backhand. Through traffic, tip just over top of the net. McGill Diaz out the right side. Bumped off by Bersani as the puck back to the Columbus line. Doe with it there. Trying to get to the stripe at center. Taken away by Koash. Columbus will change it up. 3.17 to go in the third. Smith steps in on the right side. Carrying it wide. His shot blocker Sam Lavalier. Puck all the way to the point but kept in there by Motor City. Slahetka trying to pull it out. Feeds it around. Far side store to Han up the middle of the wick line. Wick line lost it at the blue line. Motor City to the near side. Smith, he'll backhand it. Once again into the Columbus end. Again, the two teams keeping the shifts very short here towards the end of regulation. We're tied at three, 240 and counting. Columbus in no hurry to break it out here as they have finished their line change now. And boy, uh, TJ, uh, we'll get back to the second. That was Delaney actually went heavily into the boards. He just now gets out over the line, but the play goes right back. There's a shot and a shoulder, Sam Lavalier. And now back the other way. Boy, TJ Delaney kind of wiped out heavily into the end wall. Took him a minute to get out, keeping an eye on him. He looks like he's all right, but just went into the boards awkwardly after losing an edge. Left side, Rockers pushing in. Svintsov trying to cut in front, puck in the slot, taken away to the line, and Rotondi cannot keep it in. Under two to go in the third, tied at three. Shinkarik lost it. Backhanded in by Motor City. Columbus to regroup. Underwood, right side, Shinkarik. Shinkarik watched by Lane King. He'll go left side. Shinkarik cuts through the D. Walks into the zone. Shinkarik with a wrist shot. Babin save. Rebound side of the net. Miguel Diaz will put it away to the corner. Now King up the right side for Motor City, but he coughed it up to Hunter. Hunter tried to flip it the other way, lost it at the line. Back in on the wing. Here's King putting it towards the net. Oh, it got through. A save made there. Lavalier, awkwardly so, rebound away to the corner. Pushed at center. Anderson turning back for it. Couldn't get it. Conway with a break. Now moving in a goal. He shoots. And that one a blocker save by Lavalier. Big stop there. Back out to center, here's Moore carrying on left side. Kyle Moore into the backhand, save, rebound, they score! Ryan Hunter following up the play. He's able to put it home over the sprawling Babbitt with 58.2 seconds to go. It's 4-3 River Dragons. Great power move by Kyle Moore to get through, past the defense, got the initial shot off, and that was an all or nothing save for Babbitt. He made the save, got the puck, but he was down and out of position. Ryan Hunter able to get to the rebound, and Hunter puts it home for his 25th goal of the year. And now Motor City's gonna take a timeout. Boy, what a game. Columbus with the lead with just under a minute to go now. And I expect Motor City, if they don't pull Babin right now with the face off at center, they will have him ready to go the minute the puck heads down the other way. Boy, we saw a big save from Lavalier in one end. And 
the puck down the other way for a goal. Eight, maybe 10 seconds later. So Babin stays in for the moment. Big face off here, Jamaif out to take it. And the River Dragons win it back. Duncan's gonna move it ahead and Doe will dump it in. Babin's gonna play it aside. Milam leaving it behind the net. And let's see if Babin should head up the ice with this breakout, and he does. Rockers move in, here's Milam in, feeds it over to the far side. There's a shot, shoulder save. Lavalier will hang on to that. Babin is out for the extra man with 38 seconds left to go. River Dragons talking it over in a little huddle here. Jamaif in for the faceoff. Doe, Petrantonio, Duncan, and I believe that's Shinkarik out over there. Puck ends up at the right point. Pops up in the air and comes down in the near corner. Fed around the dasher pass. Milam down the ice. Colton chasing after it. And it will not be icing. It dies in the corner. 22 seconds to go. Rockers have to hurry up the ice. Miguel Diaz. Brings it in on the right side. Into the corner. Petrantonio hard around the glass. That one is blocked down by Conway. Puck ends up on the far side. Miguel Diaz, nine seconds of shot. Save made. Rebound is loose in front. Tumbling in the crease. And now Doe out with it. He's got time. He'll kill the clock. Wedging it out. The game is over. Columbus holds on for a 4-3 win over Motor City. And a huge sweep of the weekend for the River Dragons as they creep ever closer to closing out the Continental Division and the FPHL regular season title. We'll take a break and move on into the Pepsi Post Game Show. When we come back, three stars of the game coming your way. River Dragons win a 4-3 over the Rockers. Back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Third star, Justin McDonald. Second star, Josh Petrantonio. Petro had the hat trick tonight once they adjust the scoring on that. And with the game winning goal, Ryan Hunter 
her first star tonight. Stars brought to you by Wade Cleaners. They are the official cleaners of Scorch and Torch. More coming your way in this Pepsi post game show. River Dragons win it 4 3 over the Motor City Rockers. We're back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck in two. Zelmo's, Zelmo's, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck in two. Zelmo's, Zelmo's, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo's Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Tom Callahan here with you as we are wrapping things up. A 4-3 River Dragons win. Let's go over the scoring summary for you from this one. And uh, right now, expecting that they're going to make an adjustment here, but they haven't yet. And we'll talk about that in just a moment uh, for Josh Petrantonio. Should end up with a hat trick in tonight's game, but we'll come to that in a moment. The scoring started back in the first period at the 1354 mark. Conway's 18th of the year from King and Sneath got it underway, and it was uh, one of a couple of times. Motor City would actually grab the lead in this game, Declan Conway. Getting it underway at 13:54, but the River Dragons strike back late in the period. A power play goal for Petrantonio. As a matter of fact, the River Dragons tonight, a couple of power play goals, both by Josh Petrantonio. And the assist and the setup both times by Justin McDonald. 18:55 on this power play marker. And a late momentum swing before the end of the first period tied the game at one as the teams went into the locker room. Coming out to start the second, Petrantonio, and this is the goal right now. It's credited to Alexander Jamea from Kirk Underwood, but uh, Petrantonio should get credit for this goal, would make it his second of the night, 25th of the year at 129 into the period from Underwood and Jamea, and it's 2-1 Columbus. But back come the Rockers, and the first of two on the evening for T.J. Sneath is 16th from Vanderweel and King at 928, and the game's tied at two after two. Then into the third at 623, Sneath scores again, his 17th from King and Vanderweel. How about Lane King, by the way, the former River Dragon with a three-assist night against his former hockey club, a very good offensive night out of Lane King. 
and again, the Rockers grabbed the lead. But tonight, the River Dragons were not to be denied. 13-54, time of the power play goal once again from Josh Petrantonio to tie this game up, his 26th of the year from McDonald and Storjahan. And at that point, the game's tied at three. And then, pressing late, the River Dragons find a way. Kyle Moore, with an impressive individual effort, gets in over the blue line, works his way to the front of the net, just absolute tremendous physical play, guarding the puck, got in, got a shot attempt off, and Trevor Babin sold out to make the save. He dove to his left, made the stop. The problem is nobody picked up Ryan Hunter going to the front of the net. Hunter was there to put the rebound home for his 25th of the year. The game-winning goal, 19:01, time of the marker, and Columbus comes away with the victory. 4-3 in regulation. That is a huge three points in regulation for Columbus. And for Motor City, a missed opportunity perhaps to collect at least one, if not more points here on this Sunday afternoon game. Shots by period for Columbus. 14 in the first, 15 in the second, 22 in the third for 51. Motor City, 9 6 and 11 for 26. Power plays the River Dragons finished 2 for 4 with the man advantage, and the Motor City Rockers finished the game 0 for 3. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the out of town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip In and a final look at the standings here and how that affects everything heading into tonight's action with Binghamton and Watertown. And then for the River Dragons heading on the road for three games in Michigan next weekend. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. This is the Pepsi Post Game Show on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Thanks for joining us on the radio side, 106.9 Rocks. We appreciate you being here and on the YouTube side at Columbus River Dragons as we take a one final look back at our out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. By the way, if you're watching on the YouTube, you see those folks down on the ice getting their picture taken? If you bring out a group of 30 or more people to a River Dragons game, you too can get a post-game photo on the ice. It's one of the perks of the bigger groups, being able to come out and get that photo on the ice. So... Uh, what a fun moment for those folks down there right now. But I'll tell you what, it was a fun moment for everybody here. If you were a River Dragons fan, the way this game ended, Columbus coming back from that 3-2 deficit and Ryan Hunter with the game winner with just under a minute to go to give Columbus the 4-3 win. Elsewhere in the FPHL, only one game to tell you about, and it's going to get underway in about 20 minutes or so. Binghamton is at Watertown Arena to take on the Wolves here tonight. In the NHL, action from earlier today. The Washington Capitals shut out the Winnipeg Jets 3-0. In 
The Avalanche come back and win in overtime, 5-4 over the Pittsburgh Penguins. After two periods of play, the Devils lead the Islanders 3-0. In the first period, you've got the Hurricanes with a 2-0 lead over the Maple Leafs. Oilers and Senators are tied at one, headed to the intermission. Panthers up 1-0 on the Flyers at the end of the first period. 8 o'clock puck drop tonight. You've got Stars at Coyotes, 8.30, Lightning at Ducks. 9 o'clock, Sabres are at the Flames, and the Canadians are at the Kraken. Men's college basketball. I know a lot of you uh, may have ripped up your brackets and tossed them out, but for those of you still following along, a couple of finals earlier today. Number two, Marquette over number 10, Colorado, 81-77. Number one, Purdue rolls past number eight, Utah State, 106-67. Going on right now, number four, Duke up 60-38 to over number 12, James Madison, with about 13 minutes to go in the second half of that game. Four minutes to go in the first half. Number six, Clemson, leading number three, Baylor, 25-22. 7-10 tip tonight for number 12, Grand Canyon, and number four, Alabama. At 7-45, you've got number nine, Northwestern, and number one, Yukon. At 8-40, number nine, Texas A&M, and number one, Houston. 9-40 p.m., wrapping it up tonight, number five, San Diego State, and number 13, Yale. So with the victory, the Columbus River Dragons... Now up to 116 points on the regular season, and they close that gap to closing out the Continental Division. They're now 35, 4, 3, 3, and 1. Motor City, 23, 18, 4, 4, and 2. Still on 85 points. And I'll tell you what, right now for the Columbus River Dragons, you know, every step you get a little bit closer to trying to uh, close that gap and trying to just close out the season. Pardon me, the River Dragons. My mistake, 36, 4, 3, 3, and 1. 119 points on the season. Is uh, We did not get the update yet here in the league standings, and so that means 23, 19, 4, 4, and 2 for Motor City as they remain at 85 points. But Columbus now with 119 points, trying to just inch a little bit closer. Continental Division title, if they do that, that means guaranteed home ice through the first two rounds of the playoffs and whoever wins the FPHL title, which Columbus a little closer to accomplishing that as well over the Binghamton Black Bears. When that happens, Columbus, should they make it all the way to the Commissioner's Cup final, guaranteed that home ice advantage. All right, that'll do it for us here. River Dragons with a weekend sweep of the Motor City Rockers. They get all nine points on the weekend. Our next broadcast is going to be coming up on Thursday night. And the River Dragons, again, remember that game was moved off of Easter Sunday to Thursday night in Port Huron, so it's Port Huron on Thursday, Friday in Motor City, Saturday back to Port Huron to take on the Prowler. So we will talk to you on Thursday night from Michigan. Thanks for tuning us in, everybody, and listening in on our Pepsi postgame show. One more time, your final score, the River Dragons for the Rockers 3. This has been Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelbo Zip-In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons.